Russian, Russian. Ro Raggy. <laughs> I don't know why that happened. Hey, we're here with Mario Odyssey for the first time in I don't know how long. Quite a while. <laughs> when Book of Mario started and we ended up playing a lot of games is what happened. And we're going to end up going back to Book of Mario fairly soon. Probably, yeah. I got uh, You usually have stuff going on on Thursdays, right? Yeah. So uh, maybe I'll do a solo stream then. We'll pick up on the weekend on something. We've been neglecting uh, Metopia as well. Yeah. We haven't been streaming a whole lot because uh, I was just miserable though, over the weekend. Fuck, what, I account, really... what account were we playing Mario on? I guess it was fourth seat. <laughs> it's been that long. Try playing with detached Joy Cons. No thanks. No, we're good. Go. Don't need to play Start. with detached Joy Cons. <laughs> no, you motherfucker, you detach those Joy Cons. We're not detaching the Joy-Cons. This isn't we. Yeah, resume. Oh, God, that's loud. Sorry. No, it's, it's my fault. I'm turning it down on my end. Well, I want it to... Uh, it's playing through the TV speakers, and which is oh. muffled for me because I'm wearing headphones as well. It's, okay. it's weird to do console games remotely. It's, it's an odd setup we have to do. Yeah. So we did the we did the water did you set the You set the delay, right? Yeah. No, the delay's okay, on. Good. Okay, good. Good thing I'm, uh, even though we're away, I'm still reminding you to do that. So we're Pirate Mario, and we're in Yarr. the snow land. I am fully <laughs> dressed for the weather. I don't know what you're talking about. God. I love it when game. I, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I love it when games have, like, different outfits you could have. Yeah. Just allowing you. Hat in time, too. Oh, Has that right, been announced? Ah, uh, no. It'd just be a good feature to have. Because there are... They're different hats, not really different outfits, though. Ah. Uh, well, outfits are fun. They outfits are, fun. are. So we finished snow level. Uh, yeah, we just we stopped before heading off to the luncheon kingdom. Oh yeah, we're gonna have ourselves a nice roadside picnic. <laughs> They're serving frost frosted cake at the wedding. Not if we serve them a defeat first. <laughs> no, let's not. I know how to do a somersault. I'm fucking Mario. <laughs> Smile and nod. Oh, there's stupendous stew in the luncheon kingdom. Hmm. The best stew. So, uh, this is the lava world of the game, but they decided, you know what, we have a lava world in every Mario game. Let's make it Vaporwave this time. <laughs> oh man, you're right. It does look Vaporwave as fuck. They're What's the here, sound The track? Brutals! Salt. Because they're a brood of rabbits, I get it now. Salt. Or is that sugar? Nah, it's salt. <laughs> this is my collection from playing Smash. I've garnered a large amount dragged it for me kicking and, sc and screaming. How'd you are how do you already have a fucking power moon here? A power how what? Look at the script oh. you have a power oh, no, moon. That's already. a good question. Beams. That hey, Goomba was a respected Goomba. chef. Yes. He was uh a five-star Goomba. Oh good, I can stand on that. Okay, you, you weren't sure. I, I I understand. Sorry, Goombas! Think... No, oh, my those are tomatoes. friend! Oh, are those, uh... Oh, those are the enemies that were in Super Mario World. Go away, I'm getting coins. I find it... You know what? I find it weird that uh, that the Goombas in uh, Super Mario World look so fucking weird. The Goombas? Yeah, that's what they're called, huh? Come here. Not Goombas. 
Oh, can you can you capture it? I'm a fireball now. I'm a <gasps> potaboo. Oh, that's cool. You can possess and then you any kill it. So it can't exist outside of its native habitat. <laughs> Do we kill one of them? One of them seems to be he's, missing. He's just gone. Are you whispering? He's just missing. No, sorry, it's my mic. I said it weird. Here, is this better? This is better. <laughs> uh, now, now you're peeking a little bit. There you go. Alright, how about now? Is this okay? Uh, yeah. Okay, or, good. Your tone of voice good, good. the microphone. <laughs> I I'm not trying to whisper. I'm just still in pain. It's just it's it's, it's How just. How long ago did you draw your back? It's like a oh, week and a half now. I, it was after. It was a little while after we did the uh, Fall Guy stream. The Fall Guy Spelunky stream. I think it was like literally the next day. Was I woke up and then I just was like in agony. Yeah, that's why we couldn't stream last weekend. So it's been yeah like a week or so. Yeah, and it's it's been better, but. Uh, I, I've, I had to be careful. Go away. I want, I want one that heart. On the, there's one in the corner. I know. Right down there. To get to it. The other corner. I like that corner better. No. God damn it. You got caught again. But it's okay. You got him. Is he dead now? Did we get him? We got him. Dead. Buried. Yeah! Wahoo! This was too easy. <laughs> Where's the Chipotle? Oh, we didn't find the <clears throat> shop yet. There's gotta be a chef outfit here. Under the cheese rocks. Oh yeah, chef outfit. Chef Mario. He's gonna become an Italian chef. He's gonna make all sorts of pasta. That looked like uh, that looked like a shop up ahead. All right, we're going shopping. I wonder if somebody actually did try to make a vaporwave level in a Mario ROM. Oh, I'm sure. Take uh, take Mario and let him like platform around the. Uh... The, that skateboard game. What was yeah, it? I see, already forgot the name of it. Grip, grip Tape Backbone. That was it. It's a living fork. Things are kind of on fire right now. It's Cooking World, of course. What do you have to say, Pink Fork? That Forky. fork showed up out of nowhere and took over our stew pot. No, not the stew. The stew? It's four in the morning. What are you doing at the stew pot? Making stupendous stew. But why? Because I've lost control of the wedding. Our stew will be ruined. <laughs> Our stew. Too many cooks. 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 Too There's many shot, cooks. Man. There you are. No, Takes a lot the... to make a stew. <laughs> Did you ever see that? Yeah, I have. Don't <laughs> swim. Like, Is it just a skit? It's like a standalone thing, right? It's a standalone thing. It's like 10 minutes, and they showed it at like a really early in the morning. Yeah. Just randomly. They, they didn't announce or anything. They just showed it. And <laughs> they do that to fuck with the, the stoners still like watching, I swear. Is, is that why they aired Inuyasha at 5 a.m.? I think they just aired Inuyasha at 5 a.m. because they don't like Inuyasha. It was Mike Lazo's favorite anime. The, Mike adult, the adult Swim president. Huh. Fashionable cap. Maybe. Clown hat. Clown Mario! What? Clown? Yeah, clown porn! Can't wait to f just until he, when he fucks her at clown porn. I knew it was clowns. <laughs> But there's like a there's like a hentai artist who always has a weird twist. That makes... lemon font, What's lemon his name? font, he, lemon font. He's a, he does mostly transformation stuff. He does he did one where it was like this guy dating a body shifter, and uh, 
And then he he titled a comic once, uh, a perfectly normal comic where nothing happens. And then all the commentators looked at him and they're like, I don't believe you. <laughs> I did type. I did put that in the Discord as a yeah, as a tragedy. I, I he yeah, said high tragedy in three parts. Of the moment it happens, just the girl, yeah. girl starts turning into a clown. Yeah, and then she, and the like, comments yeah, are clown. flipping out. They're like, yeah, clown. <laughs> uh, I I did I did check in on that comic recently. Update: she she did fully turn into a clown, and the dude is all right with it. Yeah. The transformation then, is complete. Yeah, and uh, I think if I, 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 one person guessed, like, oh, he's gonna turn out to be a mime, isn't he? <laughs> God. On a possibly more wholesome note, uh, I have you ever <laughs> consider, more... you ever think about streaming Fortnite? It's crossed uh... my mind. It didn't really look like it would interest me that much. Everybody's doing fucking Fortnite. How am I? How are we supposed to compete with Ninja? I'm just not really into shooters. Is the main thing. I'm more into shooters, but I I, I prefer I prefer. Uh, <clears throat> there's certain. Uh, I liked if if Titanfall 2 was easily accessible on PC, I would totally fucking play it. I don't know if there's competitive scene anymore for it's it just though. Just like the art style, the popularity, the building aspect that kind of turns you off Fortnite. Every well, everybody's fucking doing it and the popularity and I. And I, yeah, well, it's not the fact that, oh, I don't, you turned into Clown Mario, didn't you? I did, yeah, you just, when I said the transformation is complete is when we put on the clown outfit. Oh, I thought you were still talking about the, 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 the comic. Oh, well. Those cans could have fed an entire <laughs> orphanage. Yeah, it, see, it's a joke. It's funny. Um, shit, what was I talking about? Yeah, uh, Fortnite. Um... It's free. At least I won't, there won't be any. But I don't know. People are too good at it. If if I'd rather, honestly, and this is kind of tells me more about me than like anybody else. I'd rather I'd rather be a regular Fall Guy streamer than than Fortnite. Hell, if I had to play like a, a popular shooter, I'd rather play PUBG. I never. If I had to pick between those two, I'd go Fortnite just because I don't like like realism. But uh... I um, was interested in Culling because that had more of a melee aspect, but it kind of committed suicide. So <laughs> committed suicide. It was a very lives. sad train wreck to watch. Yeah, for you, for 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 people who were fans of it uh, too. You I could, know it's I could bad. Consider when... trying a solo Fortnite stream one of these days, conceivably, but I don't know. Fortnite is. I think I did install it at one point. And then I just, I never mustered the courage to actually stream it. God, Fortnite, I think, I don't know, has Vinny ever even played Fortnite? Has who? Has Vinny ever even played Fortnite? He's done a couple Fortnite streams. Oh, okay. but he's not, he's not like Ninja where he's just doing Fortnite every single goddamn no. day. <laughs> I don't think he streamed as much of it as the Culling, but he streamed it, I don't know, four, I don't, five times. I don't, I don't like. I don't know why people dislike, quote unquote, variety streamers. Because it's like, you're a master of none. You're not worth watching. You, well, no, you want to see. If they want to know what they're going for. Like, if someone wants to watch Fortnite, they go to X place. It's an unfortunate situation that is just the, it's just the nature of the entertainment. So I have a question. Instead of uh, Mario, if Mario franchise, right? But instead of it being an Italian plumber, it's a, it was always a clown. I mean, it, it makes about as much sense, sure. And then his brother is uh, Luigi's a mime. Oh, I hey, got a shake to attack! God damn it! Yeah, this is the first time we're, we're, uh, we're we possessed a Koopa. Yeah. <laughs> break cheese. Just Star Platinum just throwing fucking frying pans. <laughs> this is the. What was that That chef from part four, Diamond is Unbreakable? This is his yeah, combat ability. And, yeah. We, did, we never get was, to see it. Well, because it's got the 
the sustainability is literally just just he fixes people by making like super good food. He's a healer. He's the medic. Yeah, it's rare to have a stand ability, which is just uh, just pure healing. Because Josuke had the ability to heal and like fix anything, but but it also like hurt people really good. So if good. anything, well, he was just really good at punching mostly. Yeah. Well, most most uh, most uh, stands uh, of the Joestar bloodline are really good at like punching. In the only part really... five, kind of everyone is good at it. Well, the, the really the real exception is uh, Jorno, who is good at punching, but his uh, his primary like useful ability is uh, is like just filling people up with life force. Apparently, I, that's enough. That's a big complaint I hear about Part Five is that uh, his powers are vague and convenient to the plot, which has also kind of been my complaint. It's your complaint about every uh, climb the cheese rocks. Where where are we on the moon? We're on the eight. We're close. We're close to death. Just furiously shaking your controller. Fuck you, jeez! Jeez! I have so much rage inside me. You were the worst. You were the worst speedrunner, jeez. No, there is a button for it. I can press Y. You know, now that I'm now that after I finish this, can't wait to see how speedrunners break this game because I've been holding off on watching uh, the speedruns of uh, Mario Galaxy for the longest time. Mario Odyssey? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, that. Mar I've watched speedruns of Mario Galaxy. And that's how I learned that Luigi is, like, fucking busted in speedruns. Uh, Darian, how are the volume levels? You hear Jack okay compared to me? Oh, no. Am I still too quiet? I am taking some medication for my back. Actual medication this time, not not uh, not street medication. Yeah. So it'll probably affect my uh, my mood. It's uh, muscle relaxing and stuff. I was glad you were able to do stuff again. A few days ago, you just couldn't do anything but lie in place all day. Yeah, I'm walking regularly, which is good. I've doctor prescribed me an hour of uh, exercise a day to help with my. Uh, oh hey, cool. To help with my blood pressure and and we yeah, have most of my blood pressure. I gained I gained a bunch of weight since I came back. I gotta lose it again. Yeah, you have a scale at your current place. Yeah, yeah, I do. And I'm going to cut back to usually I, I eat uh, I eat like big like portions, but today I ha I restrained myself. I had a pasta salad with shrimp in it and uh, and some celery. It's very good. And then uh, I had the salmon spread, uh, which is delicious with wheat thin crackers, uh, less yeast, less salt. I've got, I even got grapes. In case I get hungry later. Yeah. Do you have any vegetables? Uh, I need to get some corn. I like corn. Corn or peas. It's clown cool Mario. Now's the time to talk about food more than anywhere any other time we've ever streamed. Ah <laughs> oh, man. I haven't actually eaten today. I got a pizza for later. Oh, okay. Yeah, the I was thinking about. Uh, about like, I I, I remember that, uh, that they had a really good like uh, Asian place, like like a, just a, a, a really a, a really Asian place, a really good Asian place. Oh, okay. I, see I was going to say more do. Asian than all the other Asian places. Well, they do they do really good teriyaki. They do really good uh, they do really good Chinese food. They do really good sushi. They even do Korean. Yeah. Well, their version of Korean. Korean barbecue. Yeah, except apparently traditional Korean barbecue, you have to, uh... Man, can you imagine if Mario 
was a fu was just always a fucking clown. It, like in Super Mario World, he just looked like a clown. I'm sure it'd be the same, where that was just like his base kind of yeah. concept, and then he'd swap around. I mean, there there are characters and things who are just clowns all the time, like Ronald McDonald. Yeah, it's, maybe 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 clowns would would be not as creepy as they are here, because. Because clowns have, have mostly been like horror icons, Pennywise, like Pennywise. Yeah. yeah. Maybe Actually, maybe you're in that right. universe. It's weird to think of, of Ronald as anything but a clown. Like if he take if he removes the hair, it's not really him anymore. Yeah. Whereas Mario is kind of always recognizable as Mario, even in different outfits. God. Yeah. You. This is a, this is a pretty good Mario clown outfit. Ow. I have to say. It looks, uh... Oh, man, you know... You know who's a good clown? That was, like, consistently a clown without being, like, a Pennywise or a, or a Sweet Tooth knockoff? Yeah. Uh, Buggy. Buggy the Clown. Buggy the Clown. Flash! Yes, it's flashy. Yeah, he was, he was a villain, but he wasn't, like... But he wasn't, like, scary. He was just... He was funny. You know, if, if Mario was a clown, that would make his that would mean his power ups make a lot of a lot more sense. Let, let's terminate a life today. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, just DK just holding the uh, DK holding his opponent while singing that Yakuza song down. Except it's Mario. What? However, the rest of it goes. Yeah. Japanese. Well, what the fuck's up here? It's just me. Fire, fire the hat at it. I have to, I have to, I have to unthaw the. Why well, can't get a Koopa up here? Oh, the, just the hat. Okay. Yeah, you fire the hat. I have in to the become center. meat. And twitch. Yeah, you are, you are now meat. Look at the twitching meat. Observe is that meat, it, or twitch. Is it, or is it a pasta roll? Oh, or is it not a pasta roll? Like. Meat of what? T T Rex? Oh boy! At last, I have become lasagna. <laughs> I'm sorry, John. <laughs> I can smell your fear, John. I require lasagna, John. <laughs> I like you know. Speaking of horror icons. Imagine Garfield. Jim Davis rolled with that, and he just started doing Hart Garfield horror cartoons. He did that one Garfield horror comic, like, a long time ago. Did he? He did an arc. Yeah, he did an arc in, in Garfield, where where Garfield was, like, trapped alone, and, like, everybody was gone. And, and, it, was, and, pe and it was actually kind of disturbing. But it only lasted that one time. It was the only time Jim Davis actually decided to experiment. Wait. There was no boss battle. They just guess, dropped you in a stew, and the that volcano. was <laughs> that's lame. But wait, yeah, Jim. Yeah, there was Garfield has always been kind of a meme. He had original Garfield, where everybody was just kind of tolerated him, and then and he was more cat-like, talked less often. Yeah, yeah. Then there was. Uh, then there were all the jokes about Garfield. You got Garfield minus Garfield. Garfield to the square root of Garfield. Oh, like the, you're talking about meme comics, not the officials. Yeah, yeah. And then you had, uh, and then you had the infamous uh, Garfleaf uh, YouTube video. Oh, uh, well, shit. We have to get up there again. Vaporwave volcano. This is ba this is basically like a like a lava world, except except like a, it was designed by a clown. The clown outfit actually makes sense. How many do we we have fifteen. We can get the we can get the chef outfit if we can get to the shop again. The oh, last man, to I'm apart out. everything. Now I can't get to the plaza. I wanna go to the plaza. I wanna buy Chef. I wanna see all the alternate uh, the Mario alternate universes where Mario, instead of being a p Italian plumber, was like a uh, was like a fucking uh, pirate yeah. pirate uh, platforming Mario. But nothing else changed. Like, I like, mean, it's not like, really like 
the Italian plumber thing is a consistent theme in Mario, though. It's just like everything's almost random. Yeah, th like, that's why it... turtles and I guess turtles and mushrooms are known to grow in sewers. That's the plumbing theme. Yeah, well, well, you know what? Uh, turtle uh, pirates capture turtles and because they made good soup. In fact, so you want to you want to know an interesting uh, pirate factoid I learned what? recently is that uh, apparently um, turtles were so delicious that they used the fat to uh, to like freshen up other meat that was considered not as tasty, yeah. including the dodo. And that's Listen, why the dodos are extinct. Dodos weren't even that good, turtles. and yet they ate them to extinction. Because the turtle, because the, they just saturated turtle fat and made it tasty. And dodos were really easy to capture because they just they didn't have any sense of fear. They see you coming at them, they're like, "Hello, friend!" And then, and then the dodo, and then they would just capture the dodo and I, I guess wrestle it to death or something. <laughs> Man. I was talking with uh, with my parents about this um, a while back, but but imagine if dodos were around today, they would make they would make some pretty interesting pets because yeah. they were so docile. Derpy little birds. Derpy little birds. Hmm. This is a fire brother. He should be fine. I thought they looked cute, and uh, and and my mom looked at the picture of a of like a, do a drawing of a dodo and was like, "Are you sure about that? <laughs> I don't believe you." Clown. Clown. Look at the clown. So yeah, so yeah, turtles, uh, pirate turtles, that, that makes sense. Uh, that, that would fit. Uh, what other outfits do we Chef? Yeah. Is Mario, Italian chef Mario. That would be a, that would be In a world and... where uh, Burger Time was it instead a one-off game about an Italian plumber. <laughs> Burger Time was the successful franchise and Mario was not. <laughs> no, no. The, the point of this thought time, brothers. The, the point of this exercise is that is that Mario still remain maintains like his hit Wait, cultural what? icon status, except instead of being an Italian plumber, he's like. I can pirouette. What? Oh, you. Oh yeah, a clown pirouette. What other outfits? Caveman Mario? Yeah. There was a caveman platformer. Uh, there were several, actually. What was it? Uh, Adventure Island several. wasn't one, right? Was it I, Joe no, and it was Mac? A, was that what it's called? Joe and Mac. Uh, Toe Jam and Earl? Or uh, that, was, that, that was Aliens. Oh. Uh, what's the what's the, the kid who threw, like, axes? Uh, you know what I'm talking about? I think I, I, think I do. I can't remember yeah, his name. I, Maybe that was Adventure Island. Maybe I am getting mixed up. Yeah, I think that is Adventure Island. That was a kid. Or no, Bonk. Bonk's Adventure. Bonk. That's the one I'm thinking of. Come on, let me up the lava plume. The gravy plume. What the fuck? So, Pepto Bismol? Uh, <laughs> it's hot, whatever it is. Hot Why is it pink? Pink. So, what else was there? Uh, oh, hey, that worked. What other outfits are there? Uh, there was the suit. Mario. Oh, that, that was right. There was like a mafia outfit. Yeah, Super Mafia Bros. Mario and Luigi as friendly neighborhood gangsters. That's if... That's like if Nintendo was like, well, we can't do a game about the Yakuza. Well, how about a game about the mafia? Excellent. <laughs> you know what? That actually fit because it's like like it's a dude rescuing, uh, rescuing in a suit rescuing a, a lady from a, from a giant gorilla yeah. in New York. That's like that's like the most New York game ever. The official game of New York, Donkey Kong. The gorilla is the proletariat. <laughs> Super. Except, except then you keep everything else as the games go on. It's just a dude in his suit stomping on turtles in a, in a colorful world, and you're like, what the fuck? But there were originally some degree of plumbing themes insofar as yeah, he goes so, through pipes, he has the Goombas and mushrooms and everything, and the turtles. It's funny that, that, uh, that it'd be Goombas as Suit Mario, because that's what you call, like, uh... 
That's like a, a slang term for uh, for mobsters or goombas. That was the wrong button. <laughs> it's fine. You're, you're you're all right. You healed. That's what. That's the button. So then, instead of pipes, what would it be for Suit Mario? Doors. Uh, it would just be buildings. It would be a more urban theme. Mario and Luigi, instead of Mario just being like woohoo and just randomly saying Italian stuff, it, he would sound like a like a fucking stereotypical New York. He would sound like uh, like Super Mario Super Show Mario yeah. canonically. Except originally when he first came to the West, the Americans wanted to like soften him up so they made him sound Italian and friendly. Yeah. Well, <laughs> But yeah, I, alternate universe clown Mario would be the easiest because he, he, there'd be he'd be fighting like tigers and lions and shit, and he'd be he'd be like he'd be riding on circus elephants. Remember King Jojo Circus? Jojo Circus. Uh, it was a Nick. No. It was a Nick Jr. show about a little clown girl. That was my favorite season clown? of JoJo. Clown girl? Wait, is that the, the... Did that girl later grow up to be that character in that Lemon Font comic? I, I don't think He's so. Trying she to became a clown it. later in life. Oh. Oh, oh, it's a good thing those turned. How does that even work? It's mystic That's Mario it's... magic. Mario mysticism. It's, it's supposed to be the work of an enemy stand. nice that these things are, are willing to help you out. What else was there? So, oh man, Caveman Mario. Why would the Caveman be called Mario, though? He'd have to be called something else. Yeah. Mura Mura? Oh man, this is how you do it, right? It, it's a cave, it's a caveman. Are you still gonna, are you gonna be fighting him as Fire Mario? Oh yeah, you are. I think we it's are. Great. We gotta be a Poto Boo versus the bird. It's it, it, Mario is uh, is a caveman who is thawed uh, from ice, right? Yeah. And 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 take taken in by Princess Peach, who tries to teach him manners, but then the evil Bowser uh, is like trying to trying to kidnap the princess, and Mar and M Mora Mora just is like using caveman power to just. To just take him out. And Bowser thinks it's like annoying, but Mora thinks it's like fun because he's a caveman. And you know what? That would make him riding Yoshi the dinosaur, but or dragon, like really more thematic. You know, Yoshi's would call themselves dragons, but then he'd he'd fucking like say, "No, you're a dinosaur." Almost there. Yeah, you got him. Clown Mario would be difficult. Just yeah. like lost from a circus troupe and oh, you're in the Mushroom Kingdom now. Well, the first game that really took it to, that set up the world of them as plumbers and everything and rolled with it was Mario Brothers, the arcade game. So I imagine it would all have to start there and then move on. Oh man. Like Mario Brothers would have to be in a circus tent with them taking out, I don't know, invading animals or something. What you know, vomit control this bird has? That's his. That's his stand. Is uh, is specialty projectile vomiting? Vomit the ball pit. I mean, we got that one stand that uh, that has the ability to uh, get up there. To like, nope. Is the attack pattern gonna reset? No. Oh, that's that's awfully nice of him. I'm not high enough. Oh, he came down a little bit. No, a little bit. There's that one stand that. Uh, I guess it would be like causes the... mold to grow on things that go like that go down. Yeah, we we have a newest we have a new uh, biggest asshole in JoJo candidate as of Golden Wind. Man with gimp. Who's a good boy? Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> that was, and then, 
and he gets punched by Bucciarati, and then he immediately calls him to go, Hey, can your mold grow on dead things? There we go. <laughs> that that reveal, though, that, uh, listen, Giorno, you can't tell anyone. I've made my peace with it. No, we can, I can help you. No, it's too late for me. Hello, Mango. There's a minus eight animation involving this bird. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Mango. I appreciate I appreciate you telling us this. One thing I praise One Piece for is it doesn't follow the progressive villain trope. Eh. For the most part, they're kind of just unique and new powers for villains as opposed to them getting obscenely more powerful. Yeah, imagine if DBZ was like that, where... I guess they tried for Boo, but it, and it was just like, no, we need more power to take him out. They tried to do that for One Piece for the longest time, and then it kind of... He, he must have written himself into a corner if he had to introduce hockey, right? Because you have dudes literally made of, elect of light and shit. Like, what are you going to do except introduce some kind of deus ex? Or, you know, take out the light dude with a mirror or something, like oh, a hall of mirrors, and thinking. he's, like, trapped there, and then you just leave. Or, you know, a dude made out of a light, you can just... There's the materials that absorb it. It really you seems just, like just, the one series that was not going to have, you know, key in it, and then it, it did. You know what series that we're watching doesn't have key? Yet. <laughs> Baki. <laughs> Baki doesn't not have key. Not explicitly, no. It's just it's just people who just beat the shit out of each other and and are strong enough to stop well, he, earthquake. Like, he channels adrenaline through his fist and that allows it to punch at the speed of sound, not key <laughs> adrenaline. That sounds more scientific. Yes, or that one dude who, oh, that's not good. There was that one dude who did a, a really cool like uh, like mounting technique while the guy was standing. And the guy's like, yeah, well, very Jojo. few people could do this. The disadvantage, though, is that if you do this, you succumb to a, to madness, or what was he said? It was, it was uh, it's like, uh, wasn't lust. that the same technique, the adrenaline thing? It feels so good that it's forbidden because you'll go mad with pleasure. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Something stupid. <laughs> I love <laughs> Baki is like is like uh, the future of Veroni Kenshin. Yeah, that's how it comes off. Where as. it tries it's just... really hard to be realistic and grounded, and still doesn't it's like, really. It's eighty percent realistic and grounded, twenty percent weird bullshit. Did I? What if I said that we're not even near the weirdest shit in Baki oh, I'm sure yet? It's just gonna get weirder and weirder. Yeah. I was actually surprised that the early parts of Baki were relatively like well restrained. We watched. It's the, like you had watched the OVA as well, and he was way more like bouncy in that version. Yeah, he was. He was very playful. Which I found, which I, which I remember from the manga, and I was watching the the, the uh, anime, and I'm like thinking, wait a minute, why is this guy so hardcore, He's so serious? Yeah. Then again, I think about, I think about, uh, you realize that dude's like throwing fire, right? What? The the Koopa. Oh yeah. Probably should have done that. Yeah. Well, this is fancier. Did what Darian was talking about One Piece because he got uh, Pirate Warriors Four, which is oh, one uh, of those. It's like a Dynasty Warriors style game on, I assume PS4. And uh, yeah, they it has less characters and fewer arcs than Three did, but they overhauled the engine, so I guess it's more fun. Yeah. Well. Okay, making an anime fighter game more fun. That's, uh, that's game. good. A Warriors game. It's, Warriors game is all about just, uh, just kicking as much ass as you can. Oh, sp speaking of which, uh, there is, uh, on PlayStation Now, there is a, apparently, uh, Warriors All-Stars, which isn't just Dynasty Warriors, but also, uh, like, other series. And, uh, and there is a dude who's, like, uh, his name is close to Oda Nobunaga, yeah. except it's not Oda Nobunaga, and it's just a fucking cat. Okay. 
Okay. Is it Nobunaga? Yes. And he talks like I'm gonna rule the world. Yeah. His attacks are just and his attacks are just he summons a bunch of cats to like fire guns into shit. Is he from anything? Um I yes he is. I don't remember, but he's from another Koei game. He teams up with uh Oh, oh yeah, shit, so who does three he... kingdoms? <laughs> No, that's uh, that's Chinese. This is Nobu Niaga's a ambition, probably, is what you're thinking of. Also, speaking of Dynasty Warriors being in that game, Blue Boo's in there as well. And something I found out in uh, Dynasty Warriors lore is that apparently Blue Boo has a daughter. Oh, okay. And he's like, Cin she's like Cindy as Lu big Boo? a badass as he is. What? Cindy Blue Boo. Uh, Luling Kuei, I think, is her name. There's a cannon you can go in. Oh, I saw it. I'm, I'm doing other stuff. Oh, a clown and a cannon. I've, 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 I, it's not like I have, I haven't seen that before. That's what you can do. Instead of pipes, it's cannons. Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> okay. That'd be, that'd be alternate. Okay, I thought you just killed yourself. Yeah, you just go down into a cannon. It shoots you high, and then you go to different rooms that that way. Instead of going underground, you just go in the sky. Nope. Okay, and all of these, and all these alternate uh, Mario continuities, Mario would still have to be a, a great jumper. Yeah. Throughout all of them. Come here. Come here, fellow gooms. Oh, I got it. Instead of uh, Pirate Mario, instead of uh, being uh, his power ups, including a fire flower, he, his power up is a, is a musket. Or like a, a pistol. That's that fire violent. <laughs> he like he throws uh, swords or cutlasses or something. Yeah, cutlasses. That's why he's collecting coins. It would make sense with the coin mechanic. Chef Chef Mario it would still have an arrows instead of uh, instead of fire flowers. Cry. Crisis of Infinite Mario's. <laughs> Just all the Mario. We got Pirate Mario. We got Explorer Mario. We haven't talked about Explorer Mario at all. Yeah. Is it like full Indiana Jones Explorer? Yes. And then he found the Mushroom Kingdom. Uh, Kate's Caveman Mario, Pirate Mario. Is there any anything else worth? Oh, there was an uh, Engineer Mario. I can come what? back and get them. No, go down. You piece of shit. Goombas. Come They're on. gaining on you. Holy shit. You know what? This is fine. No, stay up there. You stupid. No, they're smart. They're not falling for it. Okay, hey, Bizanos. Oh, there's more. You did it. How many? I can't need this many. Where's the lady Goomba? <laughs> You're going to be too tall for her. No. Chicks Mark love my tall words. guys. Uh, yeah, they do actually. Like, like there's like, oh, you know, a guy's five foot eleven. Swipe left. Go away. I don't need more of you. I've got corn platforming to do. Do you like corn? Fuck. Oh no. Oh, I ruined it! They're all gone! Yes. You just need the one. No, I don't. I need a tower. I need one tower. Yeah, you just need the one tower. You don't need to make it eight tall. You just need to hijack a Goomba tower. Goombas can't run and then fast you're good enough. To go. I have to jump. What else? Uh, what other outfits did we have? Was there Engineer? Dr. Mario. Oh, or yeah. Scientist Mario. Sorry, not Dr. Mario. That's actually a thing. Morty. Morty, <laughs> scientist Mario, <laughs> the, with that with that hair and the mustache, that'd actually be cool. There's no scientist platformer, I, I realize. Yeah, well, scientists aren't known for being athletic. Yeah, which is he just well, I mean, you could easily hand wave that away. It was like I drink this jumping formula, allows me to jump higher. It's cool. There's also an artist outfit. 
Wait. Oh, artist? Ar oh, artist Mario. You wear that chef hat. You're worth it. Wait, what's it say? Anyone wearing one of these makes many friends on Mount Volbono. You probably need to wear that to get into somewhere. Yeah. Painter Mario. Scientist. Yeah, that would make sense for, like, the power-ups, because then well, you have one put... power-up that makes Mario grow, you have one power-up that makes him, like, set on fire. Scientist Mario would actually work for, uh, for the Mario aesthetic. What if Enbrio but a protagonist? Yeah. That's the main character I oh. think of that does, like... Wait, uh... what's that straw hat? That's Vacation Mario? <laughs> Tourist Mario. Yeah. <laughs> You can just have him be in various locales. He's like, what are you doing here, Mario? I'm just here to take in the sights. Yeah, I'm a chef. I'm Italian. Yo. This here's a place where chefs come dressed to cook. And hey, hey, you've got the clothes and the hat. That must mean you're a chef. <laughs> there's there's oh, is this thing the in here. You don't just walk in and dance and get a moon. No. We've got this pot on a good to simmer. Really brings out the flavor. But you know what? Could be better. A little hotter. That'd do it. I just can't get any... It needs For fireballs the lava? in it. Oh, this is, a, this is lava. Can't get any more heat from that lava. So this is, this is a lava world. It's just that, apparently... Alright, so how's this gonna work? What do you need to do? Fireball platforming. Oh, that's good. It's unique. You did it. The the pot's hot. Oh fuck! I need that's you, Mr. Fireball. <laughs> you fucked yourself. Oh, then you got it. But what about the other one? <clears throat> what about the rest of it? Maybe you need to do both of them. Jack with the paprika reference. Maybe this was supposed to be the easy one and I just skipped it. Yep. Yeah. You did both of them. Good job. Strong simmer. Don't mind the uh, faint taste of mustache. <laughs> it, uh, <clears throat> it it brings out the aroma. Somebody did a Rick and Morty themed wrestling show once. Yeah. Yeah. How'd that go? Um, it was interesting. You, that dude was dressed as uh as rick sanchez it was uh doing a uh a, a, a match called the interdimensional portal match which featured a bunch of like british wrestlers from different promotions i don't know i hold on let me let me see if we can find the uh find the title any card turnips, plop them in my soup gold ones too okay gold turnips especially the gold turnips got it Parrot? Oh, hello, Mr. Parrot. Hey. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's the hint, Parrot. Here, yeah, it's my lo my loyal hint, Parrot. Different from uh, answering Panda. Oh, Rabbit. Help, Mips. You come back here. No, he doesn't want to. No, fuck you. I'm, I'm not going soup back. Out of you. Come on, where where is it? Ah, oh, here it is. Company was pro wrestling chaos, by the way. Caught hopping at the volcano. Yeah, interdimensional mystery portal match.
Hello, what's over here? A key. Yep. Key. Take the key and come back with it. Clearly, that's what you need to do. Wrong thing. Did you did you hit Z? No, I hit the I hit the Z R and Y, which I thought was the dive button command. Why has it got to be two buttons? Why can't I have one button for dive? Um, because they didn't program it in. That's 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 the reason. You may not accept it, but it's what happened. Platforming's not bad in this game to say. I, I, I do think hat, uh, hat and Time is a little better, in my opinion. Maybe that's a well, hot take. Be, you, you know, may, I'm going to be playing Hat and Time, so so you're just really making it making it really good for me to just play that eventually. It is, in my opinion, the most fluid 3D platforming I've ever played. Cool. My 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 uh, stakes are uh, are not going to be higher. There's My expectations are going to be here. sky high. Where are my fireballs at? I can warp, can't I? Yeah, there's your map. It's even got, like, come to scenic... Path to the meat plateau. Also, it's not like... I want to say it's not like Mario stuck to any one aesthetic throughout its game series. I mean, no. sure, you have pipes, and that's tangentially related to plumbers, but that's, that's, that's not even close enough to be a real coincidence. And it's not like the, the where the pipes lead to even look like sewers. You could replace Mario's. Uh, you could replace Mario's occupation as literally anything else. And nothing about about the game would need to be changed, really. I don't agree that nothing would need to be changed. Very little would be changed. Practically nothing. Yeah. Very, very, very little. Also, I can't wait to see what new outfits we get to unlock when we get to. Are we in the final world already? Bowser's Kingdom. Oh, that can't be good. Oh, hey, we are. Cool. We're going to Japan. Oh, you know we're about going, that. We're going to Japan. You told me about it. Oh, yeah. They got bored of the traditional Japan. Bowser Castle designs. Yeah, they made it. They made it. Japan. We're going to Japan. <laughs> uh, no, we do not assign random strangers to mods, but thank you for the follow. Appreciated. Welcome to the stream. Since he took the time to steal the stupendous stew, I imagine that's what he's serving at the reception. He just wants to make his wedding the best it can be. That's the entire plot of this game. It's just, it's just Bowser really wants to marry. You know, we got. I got to thank Odyssey because without Odyssey, Bowser would never have been made. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we and that our trip's gonna be interrupted. Apparently Mario, this one. I got a fucking dragon. What it's, the fuck? Excuse me? Oh, what the? F that looks like a Dark Souls boss. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can take that one. <laughs> Bowser became the fucking dragonborn. Fusro da, motherfucker. <laughs> That's so crazy. It's just I'm a, I'm a. I've got a dragon, motherfucker. He's got a fucking dragon. Dragon's got to stick together. He spoke in its native language. God, we're uh, see the scaleless didn't do his job very well. All the dragons were supposed to be defeated. No, that they, they lied about that to keep the firebenders from hunting them down. <laughs> we are in Dark Souls. Look at that shit. <laughs> 
This is literally Dark Souls. I knew you were gonna like this world when we got to it. <laughs> it's great. I love it. I'm disappointed I can't play it, but I'm I'm appointed by the fact that I get to see it played. <laughs> he's just gonna he's just gonna find somebody and go, look at you, you're no hollow, eh? <laughs> Regrettably I have failed in my mission. Here, the take this. The chosen it's an unwound. Estus. An Estus Flask, a Dry Bones favorite. Brought the Dragon's Horde. Yes. No, he's not using it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Is there, is there a is shop here? Can we dress as a Dragonborn? Oh, I hope, I hope there's like some weird ass... The ancient treasure chest. Cool. We only need three moons. This is, guess, unfortunately, the entire world. It's just one of those worlds that is just pretty much here for a boss fight. I wish it were a full fleshed out world, because this would be really cool. Yeah, so there's no shop. I Probably. don't believe so. Maybe there's like a remote one if we come back later. Uh, check. You should check it if you can. This Because this world would be really great if they expanded on it, but I guess they just needed to just be like, hey... We put all the graphics into this, like, little area. Fight of fucking... You're gonna fight a fucking Dark Souls dragon. That's... that's, that's just... <laughs> what are you saying about Mario never really sticking to a theme? I mean, is it, what it, it, this is... This proves my no, point. No, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's pretty... <laughs> oh, you tired, buddy? What? Wow, that really tuckered him out. Okay, nap time. Oh, he's being controlled, poor bastard. Oh, no, that's just a helmet. I mean, I guess he's got like a like a, a Bowser emblem on his forehead. Yeah. This is this is a neat boss. It's just like, oh, you think this is going to be cartoonish, and then suddenly a fucking Skyrim dragon, like, pops out, and then you're just like, what the fuck? It's a letter from Bowser! Dear pesky plumbers, I've got a dragon. Bitchin'. I thought Bowser was a dragon. I guess he's a demonic turtle, so that... Yoshi looks at this thing and is like, oh shit, Grandpa. <laughs> Uncle Dr Did they do this because Mar because uh, Charles Martinet voiced uh, a dragon in uh, Skyrim? I don't think so. I think that's a coincidence. Uh-oh. Look out. Man, he that'd be very hard to one-cycle, I guess. Uh-oh. Oh no, it's a Tuhu! <laughs> Toho? No, it's Tuhu, bro! <laughs> we quote Vinny a lot. What? I wonder... We, we do a lot of uh, Vinny quotes. Uh, I'm sure that's not just him that says that. It's just fun to pronounce words funny. Yeah. Tuhu. Not every fucking dodging segment is a Tuhu Zelrog. Cool, you beat the dragon. <laughs> Wait. Oh, okay, I get it now. Hey, can I ride you now? You're cooler than the ship. You are a dragon. Mario to be befriend the dragon and ride him into Bowser's wedding. Yeah. Oh, Eat like, him like in the Shrek? End of Shrek. Yeah. <laughs> I object. The Lord of Lightning. Is that is that the dragon's name? Yeah, the Lord of... It is a Dark Souls boss. Lord of Lightning. He needs a proper name. Like, uh... Th Thunder Dragon, Ryu. Ryu, Ryu, the Lord of Lightning. That's a magic card. So, um... No, I just make the joke when there's a lot of things to dodge is all Charles uh, Mango. Welcome to Bullet Hell. Oh, 
Oh, cool. We're, uh... So is that dragon gonna just stay up there? I guess so. I guess he just hangs out. I'm done. Thank you for freeing me from Bowser's control. That was a doozy of an interruption. Hey, Mario, do you know how to crouch? <laughs> Wish I did with my back the way it is. Architecture, statues, Bowser's castle. Wait, he's got his own castle? Man, we gotta help those two. Oh man, Bowser's ca Bowser's castle isn't the final level, is it? Yay! Oh god, it, even Bowser's kingdom is colorful as shit. That's cool. Oh, don't be deceived; those are noxious fumes. Infiltrate. That makes it sound like a stealth mission. Oh god, the background looks like fucking looks like fucking a, a later era DC movie. Yeah. Is neon and shit. I'm sorry, is this is this Mario Odyssey or Neon Abyss? Intruder! Good guards. Oh, Goombas, thanks. Infiltration. We're being attacked by a random chef! A chef, huh? An Italian chef. Mario! Wait, what the f- what, what is this? Is it a it's fucking a Tengu? It's a stab-stab bird. Nice that uh, that that uh, we're getting new villains or enemies. Ninja bird. It's a bird that's also a ninja. Just between you and me, I am also a ninja. Man, are we gonna get Ninja Mario or Samurai Mario in the shop? Or is there even a shop here? I both. I hope there is a. Wait, both? Could be. Oh, oh no! Man. Uh oh. That's, so, that's It's cool. You took, you took the hit, but you didn't lose your. Uh, you didn't lose it. This might. No, there's more after this. I, I don't remember how much more. There's a post game, I take it? There is a post game, yes. It isn't an infinite ending? No. So you missed the previous few streams. I've watched this, but I've never played it before, and Jack has neither watched nor played it. So he is yeah, totally I tried... blind. I was hoping I'd be able to play it. Unfortunately, uh, think shit happened, and I uh, and I'm now back in Seattle while I uh, recover from my various ail ailments. Got the moon. You don't need to like Spines. to like collect any more moons theoretically. Well, we don't know that yet. Yeah. Oh, hello. <gasps> oh. No. Oh. Uh, hey, can you hit this over here? Come on. Hey, guy. Come on. Come on. Right here. Hey. He can't because you're, uh... Ow. Not like, uh, not like there was a big obvious, uh, weak spot. Or, uh, or like his attack pattern was... You, you don't have a lot of- you have to stop or he won't do the thing. Genius. I really hope there's like a fucking ninja outfit for Mario. That'd be great. Unfortunately, he's just an infiltration. What? I said I wish we had it before the infiltration part. Yeah. There's a. Uh, I know Origami King has a like uh, like a ninja castle level chapter. Hmm. Although I think it's like so a, it's like a movie studio, so it's not really. 
Oh. Well, darn. So, uh, so is there? So, what are the other? Uh, do we have any other party members for Origami King confirmed? Nope. It's just the bomb. Just the bomb. Just the bomb named Babom. That's it. The entire game. I I don't need. You know what? I don't even want to play Origami King anymore. Yeah. That that's just that's like a slap in the face. Part of the what, fun isn't of this what you wanted? It's like it's like that meme of like people who are like like man, you just can't please some people. We did what they asked after they did it half acidly. Yeah. It's like, but we but we did do this thing, no, but you did it shittily. Don't you people have phones? <laughs> isn't this what you wanted? It's a Diablo game! But it's not a PC Diablo game, that's what we wanted. Man, you just can't please some people. The fucking Larry David. Uh, anyway. Uh, oh no, a challenge. You just knock it over. No. Can I get you? See, you didn't even need to jump. See, you didn't even need to jump out. He's just immune to fire. I don't think he is. I think that's just uh, because he's an enemy, is all. Oh, it's friendly fire. Birds. Uh, there you are. Well, you had a bird, but you, but you. Oh, I guess they're infinite spawning. Buttered. Oh, so, uh, so I've been, I've been playing, uh, Pokemon Crystal Clear. The, that's like a fan game, right? That's a ROM hack of yeah. a Pokemon Crystal that makes it so that it's, uh, and we could theoretically do it if we wanted to, because, uh, there's enough different, uh, between two playthroughs. Like, uh, you can start between either Johto or Kanto, and I figured if we do that, one of us could start in Kanto, one of us could start in Johto. It's just, again, a matter of the time and all the things we have to play. Yeah. Also, is that the uh... One that is like the open world Pokemon? Yeah, that's the theoretical open world Pokemon game. And, uh... Something I, uh, I, I learned is that, uh... There's, there's a lot of choice you could have for, like, starter Pokemon. It's not just... Bolt, it's not just the uh, Johto or Kanto starters. You can have a Pikachu. Or even a Pichu. I think a Psyduck is, is available. Slowpoke? Uh, y yeah, Slowpoke. Meowth. Mew? Meowth. Not Mew. Don't be. Don't I think if I remember correctly. What? I said don't want to be too game-breaking. I started with a Pichu. Also, you can, you can uh, edit the design of your... Uh, of your character, you have like you could, you could change a lot about them actually. Yeah. It's a very modernized game, and I think it's on beta 2.0. Technology is incredible. Oh, by the way, I did see that somebody did a, a ROM hack, or not a ROM hack, a fan game, of uh, that's comp that combines uh, Earthbound and Pokemon. Jack, I just got rewarded for a glory hole. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's how a glory hole works. You stick something in and you get rewarded. <laughs> like, why are you surprised about this? It's that's how a glory hole works, bro. I gotta blow the fire up. Blow. No. Nope. No, it that it doesn't work. This doesn't feel threatening at all. It just feels festive. Yeah. I 
I don't know. I don't know what's what. I, okay, I gotta say, the Japanese aesthetic combined with the fucking like colorful clouds. It just. It's just. It. This is. This is trippy. This is Mar. This is Gar Super Mario Galaxy levels of, of like acid. I don't think I even noticed the clouds until you pointed them out. Uh, how could you not? Look at look at them. They're they're all different colors. It like it's like those Rage Two trailers. Rage Two. Yeah, you didn't see those Rage Two trailers. No, it looked all game? colorful. Yeah, it, looked, it was all colorful and shit. They're all like, it's all like, it's all like, uh, or you know, you know, you know, would be a better example. Far Cry New Dawn. It looked, it looked like, like that kind of like sickening color. It's <laughs> remember the mid two thousands where everything had to look gray and, brown. and dark and washed out. Yeah. I mean, now, now they're going in the opposite direction. Everything is just has like a lot of color in it and just. Just pink, just like purples and shit. And... Are you tired of PUBG? Try Fortnite, the colorful battle royale. <laughs> oh hey! Oh, here we go. Ninja. Yes, ninja outfit. Come on, go for it. Come on, ninja. Give oh, us hello. the ninja outfit. You just, you just live here at Bowser's Ninja Castle. Yes, we have a deal with the with the Yakuza. See, the rental's expensive, but it's worth it. What? What? Fashion. We, we could get the, the, the boxers. We could. Samurai. Okay. Happy. What the? Easy to move Happy. around in at a festival. Okay. We don't even have enough for oh, the cherry. samurai outfit. Hey, it's cherry. Down placed all over town. It's a Jizo statue. Does it tell us, will it tell us what Princess Peach really thinks of us? <laughs> Maybe sort of like besties friend zone. The samurai wore helmets that were functional and fancy. Is can we find two more purple coins and just deck ourselves out in samurai armor? We need two more coins, yes. Oh god. I'll that would be, be a back. weird The weirdest alternate game is a samurai Mario. Hello? Guard in the back door? Want to get a look, see what's going on inside? You gotta be best dressed for battle, friend. You don't look much like a samurai. Ow. Jeez, uh... Oh, that's not gonna work, unfortunately. One of these things is not like the others. One of these things is not wearing a hat. Where'd the hat go on this one? Does that mean that they're low-key alive, the or...? That, that's, that's a good question. Ashisogi Jinzo. Crawl out! Come on, give me two more coins somewhere. That's that's where we first saw Bankai was uh was the his uh I guess his, his was Bankai. the first huh Oh there it is Just one <laughs> Is it on the other side? No. <laughs> what a cock tease. Um if you go forward is there a chance Oh. crawl. Oh right. Hey Mario, do you know how to crouch? Fuck you, Mario. You should have listened to me. This is why we have those refreshers, Mario. All right, now we will be a samurai. God! A samurai named Mario. What would it? What would? What would that universe's Mario be called? It wouldn't be Mario anymore. It would be. All right, it could be. Mats Matsuhiro. Mario. Mario. Oh yeah, that that was so it'd be it'd be a platforming game where you play as a samurai. I shogun. What's a, what's a masculine uh, Japanese name ending? Taro, Suke, Marisuke. Mari Taro, 
Maritaro, good work. Maritaro. Mataro. Mataro. Super Mataro brothers. Yeah, it'd be Mataro and Ru. Uh, well, Japanese don't Luigi's use... already a pun in Japanese for like uh, fake, right? What a mean pun to give Luigi for a that... name. Ye God. Lu they just treat Luigi like shit in, in most of the games. Alright, what's going on? Oh! Ruizuke. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Oh, I really like that. It's pretty neat. What if they took people's Mario Maker levels and made them the 2D sections of Mario Odyssey? Ooh. I mean, realistically, there's nothing they can do about it, considering how the Mario Maker sections work. Or the, I guess the EU, the EULA would allow yeah, we, them use of it. This. Oh, hey! <laughs> that was cool. I didn't know you could do that. What, with the shell? <laughs> Is that a speed strat you just discovered? I guess. It was a happy accident. It seems like it was, to some degree, designed for that, though. Uh, that totally wouldn't have occurred to me, though. That's the thing. You're gonna get hit by that. Fuck. Yeah. See, I told you. <laughs> we don't lose our samurai armor. Man, if only That'd it allowed tragic. you extra hits. Mario power up that he just gets a sword. So, of all the of all the alternate Mario universes we talked about, uh. Which one do you think you would you would like best besides Italian Plumber Mario? Would you like Scientist Mario, Explorer Mario? I mean, the, the, the Mafia one could have been fun, but it probably wouldn't have worked out in the long term. Yeah, people, Moral Guardians probably wouldn't have liked it, just like... Or maybe they would have. That would make Mario's story very interesting, at the very least. What, just because he's Italian, he's got to he's got to be in the in a, a gangster. <laughs> Italian is your, is your suit Mario. Maybe they would have downplayed it. He would Jack, have been like an me? investment banker or something. Jack, did you hear me? No. What'd you say? Is your microphone in front of your nose because you're breathing into it pretty hard? Oh, sorry. Hey, thank you for following. Uh, Sixteen twenty six twenty six eleven. Welcome to the stream. Hello. Uh, I think this is the one we're going to. This is all wrong. Other guy's Jack. I've never Hello. played the game before. Jack has never seen or played before. Yep. Uh... Oh, there's a painting. Wait, can, can we not do it yet? Where's this no, go? No, you're not, you're not Painter Mario. Oh. Oh, that would be a weird mechanic. You have to be <laughs> actually in the painter outfit to... To learn how to paint, It'd yeah. It'd be neat, though, if the outfits actually had the uh, different effects. You know what? That would be that would be a fan game I'd like to see. If somebody takes all these like alternate universe Mario's, where Mario just had all these different jobs and just combined them into one. You just it'd be a tactical game where it w which would be all Mario's, and each Mario had the ability to do different things, except uh, except they all jump high. I don't need not even to that degree, but just because there's so many moons in this in this game, it could have easily been that you had to. Uh... Like, needing a certain outfit to do certain things could have been expanded on a little bit. Yeah. Anyway, having alternate outfits is still still something I like. That was one of my big complaints with the original Watch Dogs, was that, uh, was that all of Aiden Pierce's outfits were just, like, were just, like, different, co different colors of, like, what he was wearing. It was just, like, yeah... So you are killing them. Everyone you, like, whack. Uh, they, can, they can only survive a couple fights with Mario. Mario's just that powerful. Come on. Throw your things. What, what was I saying? Uh, the watchdogs guy and his lack of outfits. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and something I liked in, uh, in Watch Dogs 2 is that they actually allowed you to dress your character up different in, in like, different outfits. I like I like uh, being able to dress the character up differently. Put 
uh, Grand Theft it has Auto a level. Trevor Matutu. Grand Theft Auto 4 uh, started that trend. Uh, I guess, I guess to some extent, uh, what was that game? Uh, San Andreas was the first game to like go, hey, you want to design your character differently? What the fuck? I probably. I just now noticed that statue. That was a, a big. Oh, you're man. fighting both of them. And then, uh, Come on. a game that allowed, a game that allowed you to, uh, yeah. The and then I guess four customize it and five was like, hey, we're gonna do this uh, for reals. Uh. Why is he not bouncing on it? He's supposed to bounce on the hat. Uh, pro tip: If you want, if you want me to be like more attracted to your game, game developers, add a fucking a character customization feature. A, a good one, not like a half-assed one. Have like vari big variety too. Don't just give me like fifty shades of like a separate, uh, a separate like shirt. But how can oh, you we know? have the dialogue comment on what your character's wearing? Think of the game loss. You. No, you know what? You know what? I just, I, uh, you know what game uh, worked with that very well? Saints Row, yeah. Saints Row two and three. They allowed you to dress your character up in like variety, like wild and crazy outfits, and it worked. Something tells me you have to kill these guys. Maybe, maybe I needed to uh, break open all these crates. Oh, well, we'll find out. <sighs> oh! Something tells me you need to take out that other... No, I know, I was just I was exploring. You killed my entire family. How There's no dare one left you? Of them now. I'm the only brutal left. I can't run a wedding business alone. Why did you? Why did you I'm kill my entire family? I'm coming after you family. with everything I've got. You killed my entire family, you monster. I I can't believe you did that. Mario says nothing. He just silently raises his samurai sword, ready to finish the job. <laughs> Oh God, uh, Samurai more uh, Samurai Mario would be would be the most like terrifying one of them all, right? Yeah. He he would be silent all the time. He would be not wacky, which would be kind of hilarious considering that he'd be with the in like the Mushroom Kingdom. So Shomaru was such a great unintentionally funny character with how yeah. stoic he was. I don't know yeah. if he was meant to be taken that way, but we found it funny. Is that the first time a Brutal actually took you out? Might, might be. Oh, wow. He did it. He avenged his family. Good job. Yeah, Jishomaru. We, we started making jokes toward the end of the series. It's like, Jishomaru, are you okay? He's like, yeah, he's he's fine. Just can you tell by the look on his face? In Inuyasha. Yeah. He was hilarious. Somebody said he's like, he's got an awesome ego, but I don't see it. He doesn't seem to have an ego. He, I mean, I sure, he gets he arrogant, does. but... He's le 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 less so as the series goes on, but he's still got that, like, aristocratic pride. Yeah. He can't shut up about how inferior Inuyasha is for the first half of the series. <laughs> you know, nowadays it comes up less like racism and more like, Shut up, you're- I'm the- I don't suck, you suck. Like how a brother would act. Green Rabbit is voiced by Sanagi Sanegayama from Kill la Kill. Uh, who who was that? I've I've watched Kill la Kill to the end. Jack is not. I, I don't have... remember it that well. Oh, I haven't seen Kill la Kill to the very end. You you've been you've been holding out on me. I know that uh, what's his name? The Jim guy was Chris Sabat, I believe. Jim guy. The the big. The big, really loyal to Sotsky dude. Oh, okay. The swordsman guy. You said guy. jimp guy, and I couldn't help but think of that one uh, stand I, user's, like, 
Jim. I, I don't remember who the swordsman guy was. Oh god, the chimp, the gimp, the dude had a gimp. Uh, we didn't get to that, uh, oh, you're in Jojo. Yeah, the uh, gimp. Who were the four knights in Kill a Kill? It was the, the big guy. Yeah, I know you're talking the... about the guy who got beaten and la he later became blind. What? I think that's the guy you're talking about, that's the dude. I th okay, yeah, I think I remember a character like that. Yeah, he, he was beaten. And then he decided to become blind that increased his skill enough that he beat Ryuko in a rematch. There was also the scientist and the band girl, I think, were the four. Scientist. Uh, was he an average fighter? I don't recall. Well, scientist. He okay. was the tech guy, the computer dude. <laughs> yeah, that's why I ask. Because he's a scientist, he must be an average fighter. That'll be important later. Maybe. <laughs> what the f what kind of material? That looks that looks like some fucking Eldrazi shit. I'm sure it's not important. No. Yo oh, no! Wow, oh, this is water. Okay. It's just water. <laughs> what do you think it was? The lava world was last level. You fool. So you killed all the Brutals. They're all dead now. They're all dead. Hello, Mr. Koi. <sighs> Mario just mercilessly just exterminating the Brutals. Oh, can you possess those fish? I'm gonna guess no. No, they're gone. Oh, there they are. You're just swimming in Bowser's Koi Pond. Can you imagine Bowser Jr. like, Hey, Papa, why are you remodeling the castle? Well, son, it's because I'm tired of the same old thing. I want it to be more festive. <laughs> Bowser but, watched but, exactly one anime and became hooked. <laughs> but, but, Papa, isn't this cultural appropriation? Who cares? We're villains. Okay, Papa. But Bowser Jr. secretly enjoys this because he thinks it's cool. I mentioned this before, and I'll mention it again every time I bring up Bowser, but Bowser is the best dad. Yeah. He's like a really good dad. <laughs> he's, he's... I think there was a scene I saw, I think it might have been uh, the Rabbids game where Bowser Jr. was fighting Mario, and then he got a call from Bowser, and, and he's just like, no, dad, everything's fine. But Bowser Jr. exists to explore that dynamic between him that, and Bowser. Uh, that fan character, Eggman's daughter slash niece, to be a thing. Oh man, it's just it's just uh <laughs> you just avoided him. No, I don't fuck with you. What if you tried poking that yellowish mark on his Why? Fuck him, Egg... we're past him. Screw you, Captain. You know what? Eggman's daughter, I think, would be would be a better thing rather than niece. Yeah. Because because that would imply Eggman has a living relative. And that opens a lot of questions. What, like, what if she's I... Maria's? <laughs> but... I see art of that, of, like Maria being alive and hanging out with Eggman. I don't know what that continuity is. Alive and Egg... Alternate universe continuity where Shadow dies and Maria goes on a... Well, she, she's not the kind of character to be, like, villainous, so... Maybe she'd be, like, a scientist in her own right. Oh, yeah. If she didn't catch, uh... If she didn't catch Sonic AIDS. Yeah. Oh, hello. Literally you Sonic AIDS. It has the same symptoms as regular AIDS, except it's in the Sonic-verse. It was just called something slightly different, was the only difference. Yeah. I don't remember yeah. the oh. exact name. So... So it would be Bowser Jr. and what? What did they call a uh, fucking omelet? Fucking uh, omelet, and they'd be like, "Yeah, our dads work to our work at different jobs, but we go to the same school." No, that's lame. Uh, you know what? Though they both use gadgets and shit, right? So they'd actually complement each other really well. I hey, it's yes, Bowser Jr. counts as using gadgets in Smash at least. 
Yeah, he uses hammer, he uses Mecha Koopa, and he uses his clown car. And really you know what? He's the case in the games. <laughs> it's just be. Oh man. We don't know enough because there are some continuities which portray Eggman as like a really dangerous foe who's like who's like despicable, but then there are some continuities where he's just like kind of kind of like a crazy scientist who who just is a bit kooky and is also obsessed with fighting and besting Sonic. He's kind of been like a joke in the Sonic games for the longest time now. There's only really he was only ever really treated his most seriously in like the Saturday morning Sonic. That egg yeah, that Robotnik and, design. And in the Archie comics, like some of them. Yeah, same Before the continuity thing. reboot. Yeah, he went from being like kind of a kind of a uh, a monster tier threat to being just like a like Bowser tier. Even Bowser Which is a, more of a threat. He's still the main antagonist of the games, but it's never yeah. Eggman anymore. It's always some like magical creature or beast that he's uh, accidentally awakened. Yeah, it, uh, or just Eggman's just other enemies. Eggman's whole thing is basically, oh, what has science done? What has? It's not what even always him that's involved anymore. Like uh, Lost World has just like seven other dudes as the bad guys. I forget what they're called. Uh. They're like they're like living like shapes, or something. I don't think either of us has that right. But Eggman is not the main villain. Is the point? Yeah, L living shape. Wow, that's w just wait, death. Uh, neither of us has the right. What? Neither. I don't think either of us has that right. Okay, it right has our facts like, straight. I thought. I thought. <laughs> no, I we, thought don't we don't, talk we don't about have the right to talk about non-Eggman Sonic something. villains. <laughs> we don't. We, we're not allowed. We're filthy. We're filthy plebs. Check our privilege. We're not allowed. This doesn't look easy. We gotta scale the inner wall. Wasn't Lost World the one that had the like a couple of DLC that that had uh, Mario go, uh, that had Sonic go to Yoshi's Island and. Uh, and what? then Hyrule. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I think that's the case. I, the bird, have come to challenge you about. Okay, I guess not. Deadly Six. And uh, Mango is saying that yes, that was the game. Hold on! Cool. Just got to uh, check for the coins. Talk about. Oh. Yeah, I totally walked straight up to him dramatically. That's what happened. Help, Mario! Why are you dressed in samurai armor? You're too late. Yep, I knew it. We're off for a wedding ceremony on the moon. Oh, are they gonna are they gonna repurpose the destroyed X Not base? Tech is there. Is he gonna be the like the the priest? <laughs> he's uh, he, he's not religious, but he has studied all the all the uh. Oh, imagine imagine if it's Book of Mario Tech officiating the wedding. Yeah. Bowser's like, what the fuck are you saying? What? Oh! They're back! Okay. They didn't die. They became Voltron. They're all <laughs> Voltron. Giant robot with paper lanterns for some reason. Oh god. These basically became Sonic bosses. Why did you fire a bird at me? Why are birds your ammunition? Because, because they, because... That'll teach you! Stupid bird. 
you mistimed, unfortunately. So you took out their armor, now what? Gotta climb the legs! Oh, okay. So you still use the bird. Hey. You don't, uh... No! Well, we killed one of them. Maybe hopefully this time they'll stay dead. You know they won't. Oh, they get to the they have a one-up shroom. No one dies in Mario Verse. Until someone does, and it's gonna be really devastating. <laughs> Bowser dies, and then it's gonna be Marine Ford all over again. <laughs> Try to jump. Can you jump and poke? Yeah. Okay. You should do that for the uh, for the balls because sometimes they bounce and, it, and they miss your. Uh, well, I'm, I'm poke. trying to space myself so that they land by the time they get to me. Oh, okay. Uh oh. It can. Oh, it can run now. Wait. It has power star? I guess so. It's powered by the moon. It's a good thing it's not powered by the Chaos Emeralds or it'd be able to flash stuff. <laughs> I like how, how Sonic was hit by the flash stepping robot and careened into a wall and his response was smiling go, Oh fuck yeah, this is gonna be a great fight. <laughs> He's just like... It's just a bunch of fireworks. Away, fireworks. All, all the fireworks. Oh, there's little rocks around I can get hearts from. Oh, just one more hit on either leg will do it. I wonder why they, they, uh, oh, um, okay. With the power of bird. You killed all my siblings again. Wait, how Stay effective away. is flying? I guess that's made of plant, right? I guess flying is really effective against uh, grass. Other way around, flying super effective. Yeah, flying super effective against grass. That's what I said. Please, no, no. Ah. Almost threw me over the, over the top. <laughs> stars we did it we've, we've defeated them totally dead never gonna see him again never ever so we're going to the moon let's go oh is there gonna be a final outfit to unlock at the moon we already have an astronaut outfit, don't we? Orbit Adventure rabbit. Mario. We were one step away and Bowser flew off to the moon. Can the Odyssey go to the moon? One of these days, Peach. Some day. Bang! Straight to the moon. <laughs> oh, well, you collected a lot of power stars. Sorry, power moons. Sorry for being so presumptuous. Star worship is over. It's moon worship now. 
Well, it's complete, so maybe I guess it is to the moon, and I think the moon is the final story area. To the moon. The Odyssey is complete. We'll chase him all the way to the Moon Kingdom. Who's who's the king of the moon? Is it the Moon Rabbit? Is it Boss Rabbit? Is he still up there? We're gonna. F you killed all my kids. I'm going to take revenge on you. Yeah, that's right. Was there a Boss Rabbit, or am I wrong? No, in the, in the in Dragon Ball, the one that oh. Goku sent to the moon with the power pull. Yeah, and then presumably like died when the moon exploded. Oh, hey. Yeah, the, after which. A, the power pole was established to not go that far or that fast, and B, the moon was blown up several times. Yeah, so rest so. in peace, boss rabbit. The moon kingdom's been foreshadowed since the start. You can see the moon in every kingdom. <laughs> well, you can't put the sun in the sky. Kids will go blind. Hi. Pasito. Welcome to the stream. Ow. A lot of people. Honey Loon Ridge. So the moon, you can we can breathe on the moon. I mean, we could in Paper Mario. Yeah, somehow. It, it's continuity. The moon is perfectly uh, inhabitable in Mario Land. Yeah. Don't you so look we... dapper. A so oh. we're... Yeah, we're... When did White we put this people... on? Uh, right when we jumped, when we uh, flew okay. off. Well, now now we're uh, now we're Smash Mario. Yeah. Oh, it's Moon <laughs> Gravity. <laughs> yeah. Orbit Adventure Mario. I gotta tell you that story someday. What's the story? So there, there is a, a wrestling promotion, and in this promotion, there was a series of characters called the Ants, and you had Fire Ant, uh, Soldier Ant, and uh, Worker Ant later. And you had other ants like Green Ant, and then Thief Ant. These were wrestling and, characters. Uh, yeah, wrestling characters, and then there existed a a series of uh, of evil ants. Uh, called the Colony Extreme Force. Sorry, that, that was what they were called. They were called the Colony, and uh, and one was a uh, missile assault ant, another was uh, was Arctic Rescue Ant, and the third was Orbit Adventure Ant. So this was like a whole stable of ant themes. Yes, and uh, and as it turns out, later on, um, that uh, apparently the one known as Missile Assault Ant. In storyline, accidentally blew up a bus full of kids, and he's haunted by it. Oh, whoops! <laughs> I guess he later lost his mask, and then he became Missile Assault Man. Are these the Chimera ants? Is that their story? Oh, they're just wrestling ants. Uh, this is Zelrog speaking. The other fellow is Jack. Yep. Hello. Oh, those are some jumps. You're, you well, got oh, I don't have me. my hat. That's right. Whoops. I guess, I guess this is going to be a long jump for you. Oh, I have to do a dive. A deep dive. I love a deep dive. This is going to be like a Wang video. He's going to he's gonna talk about uh, the dude who shoved a, the, the glass dude. The Russian glass. Did I tell you about that? Uh, no. There was this uh, dude in the early internet. It was on the heyday of the shock video, right? And uh, and it was a dude who uh, who had, took a video of himself shoving a jar up his ass. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then the jar broke. That sounds pleasant. Yeah. Apparently, according to him, they found him and they interviewed him. And apparently, he... <laughs> He, uh, didn't go to the hospital. I hate that there's not a dive button like there is in Hat in Time. <laughs> I, 
I hate that it's a combination of two buttons, and misinputting can make you just fucking plummet. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> this is this feels like it's gonna be a jackass bit. I'm Mario. This is this is moon jumping. This is fucking sink or swim. You do one or the other. And if you fail, you fail. You sure do. <laughs> you did it again. You just... You just don't... You... You just... You don't. You just don't. Trying, man. <laughs> do I have a long jump? I do. You do have a long jump. I'm I'm asking why you're not using that. It seems like because well, it's, it's a important movement option. The uh, the dive. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's important if you can pull it off. But apparently, you're having some significant trouble with it. So you might as well just be like. Why is the wedding on the moon, by the way? It's romantic. Yeah, it's if also you like shadowed uh, by the fact the fact that they were rabbits. Oh yeah. I guess so cuz that's a thing, rabbit yeah, on the moon. That's why that's Usagi. why Sailor Moon, yeah, Usagi. Usagi for rabbit. There's another dub, some kind of uh, foreign dub that named her bunny. Yeah, I think that was the ma the Viz manga. The original translation called her that. Yeah. Which itself but, is a direct translation, but that doesn't really matter because Westerners aren't going to get the moon rabbit connection, so why bother? Yeah. Serenity, uh, or Serena makes a lot of sense considering that that uh, she's the daughter of, uh, of Queen Serenity. <laughs> You almost pulled it back, and then you flailed you off the, the edge. No, she is Queen Serenity, or Princess Serenity. She's or Neo Queen. She's Neo Queen Serenity when she awakens. That's that's how that works. Mm. Oh, apparently they did a uh, they did de a death battle of Beerus versus Sailor Galaxia. I, got a I can't. I can't even fathom how you would attempt to measure a Sailor Moon character's power because shit just happens for no reason in that series. <laughs> Be, uh, that being said, I'm going to say Beerus will win. I was told the result, but I won't spoil it unless you want me to. <laughs> Did Beerus lose? Do you want me to? Did Beerus lose? <laughs> Did Beerus actually fucking lose? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you having so much? Yeah. That I, time I, it was. I ate the moon flower. It made me go fast. <laughs> oh, I got a checkpoint. It's okay. Let me know when the Lunarians make an appearance. The what now? Uh, well, well, we'll find out. From so, Aqua do they? Team? Oh yeah, those are the Moonanites. Oh, that's that's what they were called. Behold, as I show you my beautiful platforming skills. Dun, 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 dun. Yo, that was sick! You're a master of this. <laughs> put it put it through a voice filter. It'll work. So, so you didn't answer my question. Who won? Uh, I need Beerus. Okay. There's no way a sail there's no way Sailor Galact they would think that Sailor Galaxia could beat fucking Beerus. I, she didn't slay the ultimate abstract source of all evil in the universe, but she did seal it, so I mean I guess that's something. She could seal Beerus. I haven't watched the thing, so I don't know how it went. Wait, 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 what? 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 What the fuck? It's a moon sphinx. You ain't never seen a moon sphinx? 
N no. It's a minx. Why is there a sphinx on the moon, bro? You no, know, I know I got a wedding to go to, but uh, one riddle can't hurt. It's. Should you really be answering questions right now? No. Stingy? Well. No. There are so many other things you could be doing with your time. I'm done. He doesn't even give you anything? No, fuck you. You can't do side quests now. Get to the wedding, asshole. It's gonna be like the end of The Graduate where, where Mario's just gonna be, like, pounding on the glass. Just a section too oh, late. Oh, that's a hole. Lava world, check. Oh, oh this is gotta the have moves. a lava finale. It's a leaping lava land. Gravity feels normal in here. They activated the fucking gravity uh, oh, stuff down here. <gasps> Can you possess the? Yeah. How 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 long can you fly though? Seems forever. Dry bones. Don't attack me, I'm one of you. Wait, I'm one of you. Oh man. So th there's this movie called uh, Predators. It's a. It's like the. It's a sequel to the movie Predator. Yeah. Right. Like, like Alien and Aliens. Yeah. So pre so uh. So Predators had a scene where like one dude thought that that he was like the Predators. Because he was like a like a sociopath or psychopath or something, yeah. And uh, and then later on, like like uh, a predator confronts him, and uh, and he's like, "No, you can't kill me. I'm one of you." <laughs> and then he kills him. Uh, well, I think I think he dies from some other uh, like thing. That, but uh, oh, thank you, friendly tank. Friendly neighborhood tank. Next level. So the predator chooses to spare him. Uh, no, he, no, they both die at the same time. I think I think one of the other characters sets up a bomb or something. Oh, these ones are uh, these ones are hammer bros, not frying pan bros. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Mario! Oh, that's the thing. That's a good... I'm really surprised we haven't watched. Why haven't we watched, ever watched Fist of the North Star at all? No, we just never got around to it. We talked about it while JoJo was on hiatus. Yeah, I, I'd be down. I'd be down to watch some uh, Fist of the North Star. I'd be a little more interested in that than uh, Dirty Pair. If you wanted to watch Lucky Pair. Lucky Pair. <laughs> Dirty Pair. Sorry. They're not. They're from what I heard of uh, of those two. They're totally not lucky. Uh. You can't really call it beef and bell peppers if there's no beef. Yes, I can. Shut up. Yeah, the joke about about that is that they were called the, the some gorgeous angels or something, but the, but because they caused so much problems, they, they they every time they fix a trouble, like shit just goes incredibly wrong. They everybody just calls them the dirty pair. Yeah, that's the reason. It's definitely not an innuendo on the author's part. Oh, hello! <laughs> what? Oh, no. Bonsai bills last longer. Yeah. 
Where is that one, uh... There is that one, uh... Uh, new Super Mario Brothers game where the bonsai bills were, like, fucking gigantic. They, like, took over the entire school. Whoa! He doesn't hey. want to be possessed. No, I like my individuality. No. Stay there. Uh-oh. Hey, I did it when it mattered! <laughs> Good job. Lucky pair, the crossover between Dirty Pair and Lucky Star, I never knew I wanted. Oh, hey, Chuck! Wow, we haven't seen Chuck you in forever. Holy shit, everybody is here. Wait, you're telling me the Charging Chuck is here? Everyone is here! <laughs> Mario, Mario just sees a Charging Chuck and just has, like, Vietnam flashbacks. They're annoying in, in Super Mario World. They How just long take do he it. charge, though? He charged long. <laughs> Until he hit something, he charged. Can he jump? No, he no. can't. Which is weird because they have like a ver very high vertical leap in Super Mario World. They be, they be, they be like hmm. athletic as fuck. Or acrobatic as fuck. I don't like this. <laughs> You're Mario. Fine, just, just do the, just do the dash. Why do I just take my advice? He's just gonna die slowly. At least we got the coins. That's what mattered. Alright. Go on. You can do it. Imagine this was Mario Sunshine. That's right, we need the MAMA! 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 He's more subdued here than he was in, in Sunshine. In Sunshine it was, it was, was always was... weird hearing the Sunshine ones. Oh, oh hello. Hey, hey. Well, you call oh, your hey, mom he's... on me? Oh, I remember her. You killed my children! They're all dead! Do you remember me? You were ever so rude to me back in Cascade Kingdom. Oh, that, that's you it? Were... I was rude to them? The rude. I, I killed I mean, them I... several times. Yeah, that is rude. I mean, she's not wrong. That's in the Mario rude universe, behavior. that count qualifies as just rude. <laughs> That's like when, in that fanfic I saw, which was like, I guess, a, an audio, an adaptation uh, of, uh, it was an adaptation of, like, a GameFAQ, uh, GameFAQ's, uh, like, tournament, and, uh, and it was Neth versus Bowser, and Bowser won, and he proceeded to eat Neth, like, just to swallow him whole, and everybody called him a big bully. <laughs> you big bully! It's, oh, like... it's okay, we got one up shrooms. <laughs> You'd think that, that would constitute the... a little more than bully. That was also the one where Link basically brutally killed, like, the monkey from Super Monkey Ball. Oh, yeah? And they're like, what the fuck, Link? And Link was like, I had, it had to be done. Yeah, yeah, what? Also, that was... <laughs> Kefka uh, from Zero Wing was involved, and they just gave him his Zero Wing, like, Kefka? broken English. What? I can't hear you. You got quiet. Cats from Cats from Zero Wing was involved, and they just gave him his Zero Wing. What? Why are you zigzagging? I, I don't Why are know. You... It was an accident. I was trying to realign. I just kept going back and forth. Did all your baser belong to us, guy? Yeah. Yeah, the same one. 
His name was Katz. Incredibly rude. Ow. I love I love understatements like that where it's just like somebody does something bad to another person and they just respond by It really takes a long time to get momentum again after throwing your hat. You could use long jumps to uh to evade quicker. Well I have to have started moving before I can do a long jump. Maybe instead of like trying to uh, to one cycle, getting all the hats off, you can like hit it once, and then dodge around a bit, that hit takes it again. Long. Unlike that what, what we're doing now. Yeah, it takes too long. Uh, unlike dying and having to go back to where you were. Wow. <sighs> Surprised you haven't you guys haven't played Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. <laughs> who would really be who would be the bomb me. dude and who would be the the yeah, Who would be who in that right, situation? I'm sure we can swap. You know what? That would be a hilarious uh, stream, actually, Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. Hat doesn't go as far as I think it does. There you go. You see, you're, now you're doing it. Oh, thanks, Jack. Yeah, you're welcome. I knew you could do it, buddy. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy! <laughs> I... I love JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. There's so much crazy shit that happens in it. All the crazy characters. What about that other dude who was like... He was like really supportive to his to his uh, friend on the train. Oh yeah, the, I, for, I forget his name, but I know who you're talking about. Yeah, friend of uh, Turnipit. Yeah, master of Beach Boy. <laughs> hey, is Mike Love? I hear you've been using our name without permission. I'm here to stop you. I just don't understand why I'm the bad guy all the time. My name is Love. Like so who's the peace of peace and Ringo love? Star. Who was that? Who? Ringo Starr, the Beatles. Ringo Starr. Uh, Ringo Starr was the one that was that was pretty chill. All fat items will be tossed. I am telling you with peace and love. I am warning you with peace and love. This wedding will be tossed! This looks look like look how urgent Hearts. he is. This looks like a Kingdom Hearts level. Let's explore first. Mario, what are you doing? Camera? No, it's fine. Oh, hello. Oh, it's you a should... frog! Let's stop the wedding as a frog! Okay, we'll, we'll bust in through the top. Oh, we're gonna Shut up, the Bell! bell. I'm reminded of uh, of that movie uh, Lady Hawk now. 
It was about a dude who's like a human by day and a wolf by night, and he's in love with a woman we who is a uh, hawk by day and a woman by night, so they, they can never be together. And it was because of a priest who cast a curse on them. Was that in Venture Brothers? <laughs> Wasn't that a couple? They were like trying out for a villain role or something? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess that was a Lady Hawk reference. It was, it was funny because, uh, because I, you're never gonna watch this movie, so I'll just tell you. Yeah. They end up they end up breaking the curse, and the priest gets pissed off. He's like, "If I can't have you," and he raises his staff as if he's like going to do something. And then the main character, the guy, uh, just throws his sword and impales him against the wall. Uh oh. Oh, she looks happy. Wait, Pauline, why are you here? What is going on here? I was dragged away from my cooking for this. They were kidnapped to be wedding guests. Yeah. I was forced to attend this ceremony! Oh no. I wish to go home now. <laughs> you no, and hey, me Pauline. both. What the fuck? What's that she ring. gonna do? Ride inside it? Bowser in his larger size for this game. Yeah. Bowser, the fact that Bowser can just, uh, can just randomly, just change, not randomly, but just change his size at will, that's a cool power to have. It's just like you're fighting regular Bowser, and then suddenly he grows, like, 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 giant size, and you're like, oh, fuck, things are gonna be really bad now. Maybe he's loaded up on power moons. <laughs> I mean, he was loaded up in Power Stars and... Crashing the wedding? That's tacky, even for you. Uh, look who's talking. <laughs> your, your outfit isn't halfway fancy enough. Not that it matters, since you weren't invited. Make like a bouquet and get thrown out. <laughs> Wait. Soup what battle. The what the fuck are we fighting? Just weird... Cave. We're fighting the nether. The. What was it? The nether? The end. It kind of does look like the end from Minecraft. All the Endermen are just watching, going, what the fuck is going on? Oh, that's the. That's an awesome looking uh, comb over that, uh, that like. Rocking come over. He's rocking like a really sweet haircut. Oh hey, Bowser actually does his stream of fire. Not the he does fireballs in most games. It's just two people dressed in wedding outfits just fighting each other. This is the trashiest wedding ever. Now listen here, Bo, that there is my girl, and I'm gonna take her back. God. What's the? Oh, have you, have you ever heard those. any stories of uh, of like weddings gone wrong? Gone sexual. Cops called. <laughs> oh, he does too. God damn it. Yeah. Sec sec second phase. It's fine. You should probably. You'll probably be able to find a heart or something. Y'all get. No? Y'all got any hearts? Y'all got any more of them hearts? Bowser wins. Rip. He mar marries Peach, or Peach decapitates herself. You know what? That's a hardcore thing. A, a hardcore method of killing yourself is yeah. just uh, decapitating yourself with a sword. Yeah. It's not. It, it's happened before. Infamous meme. I'm trying to make it look like you pulled your head off. I wonder what the what the most hardcore wedding ever ever existed. Oh, 
Okay, so Pirates of the Caribbean, the, the the third movie at World's End, had a had a wedding during a fight during like a war scene. It was uh, one of them. The the woman, what's her name, marrying Orlando Bloom. Kira Knightley marrying Orlando Bloom. That's not their characters, but yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Oh. Uh, and uh, and they're like talking to Barbosa, like Barbosa, marry us. Like is we're fighting, we're and this is all while they're all swimming with sword fighting and stuff. And he's like, are, are you sure about this? Like, yeah, we're talking like the president. And then he just starts officiating uh, like a wedding as uh, during a uh, during a fucking war scene. not quite stopping a wedding I, I suppose but it, it's it's not what uh, it's not quite stopping a wedding I suppose but it's just just fucking there's a dude who made the who made a Bowser comic a guy by the name of pencils he also does pony stuff and um and he theorized that uh, that Bowser doesn't care who it is as long as, as long as he finds love, he'll be happy. That's why in that comic, Bowser got with uh, with Mario. Yeah. Oh, there, there you go. That. There's a heart. Well, you gotta save the good one for last. Ow. You, you uh. wow, that attack pattern is just opaque as fuck, huh? We gotta go into the we gotta go interrupt the wedding with style. <laughs> Sonic speed. Oh man, can you imagine Sonic in a fucking tuxedo? Probably happened at some point. Oh, give me a second. Look up Tuxedo Sonic. Yes. That Amy in a nice dress in Sonic X. <laughs> Imagine Knuckles in a tuxedo. Uh, uh, Mobians typically don't wear clothes unless it's gloves and like and like uh, feet and like shoes. Only the lady Mobians. Okay, cool. I found a pretty decent render. Yeah, that looks that looks all right. He's still wearing sneakers, but at least it's black and white, like uh, shoes. He's even he's even holding a, a hat. I'm really in the dapper hat. Yuck it up, Shao Kahn. Shao Kahn. <laughs> Shao Kahn shins. Oh no! I needed that. Oh no! This attack pattern—it is too much free for him. Well, I can hit the shadow hats with uh, my hat, but I'm trying—I'm trying to cut off the white one early, and just keeps punching me. Ooh. I'll use a hat to bring a hat to my hat. Hat, hat, hat. Yeah, by the way, you ever heard of Hattress? Hattress? A hat mattress made of hats? No, 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 no. Uh, Hattress. It is Tetris except with hats. No. Like the Tetris pieces have hats on? Yes. Or, no, the te it, there's no Tetris pieces, it's all hats. And you 
And you and you match hats. Oh, I guess the game's over. Oh. That was the final boss. Oh, the ring shrunk. It's like elastic gold or something. I guess it would need to be like magically growing and shrinking if it was to fit Bowser. Yeah. Wait, that that's it? That was the final What? Your princess is in another castle. I knew it. Thank you. I'm I I'd be disappointed if that was the final boss. What mystical abomination have we awoken? Cube! You... Defender of the polyverse! Oh, he said a word. He said peach. Peach. Uh, so I was at Hatteras. Um, I first saw Hatteras at a at a museum in Seattle. Like an art museum, I, or like a special can, display, or something. No, it, I don't know what the context was. I just remember walking through a museum, some kind of science museum or something, and there's just an SNES with Hatteras. What are we going to do? Possess Bowser. Pos do it. Possess Bowser. Yes. We're gonna form the ultimate, like... We're gonna form the ultimate being. Bowser and Mario. For the very Come first on. time. Playable Bowser in mainline Mario. Hello! Hey, his eyes are blue. Mamma mia! This is what it's like to be Bowser, huh? <laughs> Let's -a go! This is so cool. This is great. He's fast like in Smash, too. So this this is the this is the blueprint for how uh, for how Bowser should play in when Bowser gets his own game, right? Yeah. This is how this is how it is. I mean, he was a playable party member in Super Paper Mario, at least. He yeah. Was much but, less agile in that iteration. But if there was a Bowser only game, where he's like saving his son Bowser Jr. or something, it'd be weird if it was a platformer. To be honest, but I guess if it it'd probably had be the beat em up. It'd probably be a, a platformer with combat focus. Like, well, that was Oreo's thing. <gasps> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this final, this final section's really good. It's like when I, I like to play Master Hand and Smash. Yeah. We're, we're bonking Peach's head on the bricks. Fine. She's she's from the Mushroom Kingdom. That's what they do. They're all trained for it. It's their basic form of like uh, like of combat. Just bonking things. Mushroom Kingdom martial arts. Every child learns how to jump on things and how to uh, prepare how their to head hit, for hitting bricks. Headbutts and headbutts and curb stomps. Bowser's inside story. I said mainline game. Oh, okay. What's the Sonic music? What's new Scooby Doo? It's, super... it's got lyrics. It is. Yeah, this is a. This is a so Sonic let, let's let's do the checklist. We've got a game where Mario rolls around in a real city around real people with uh, butt rock with lyrics. <laughs> yep, this is this is Mario's Sonic Adventure too, or just Sonic Adventure. So wait, what's what's the objective here? I don't know. I guess that. I guess I'm breaking the four heavenly night pillars. Break once we destroy the four pillars. I wonder who sings this. Because the Pauline was Sakura. Kate Higgins, I think, is the actress. Oh, isn't it? Oh, yeah. that's cool. I wonder if this is also a uh, well-known actress or singer. 
So what is going on here? What did Bowser do? I just fell into the moon and there was like weird crystals everywhere and I guess this is the least sense this uh This is the least sense an endgame has ever made. In and Mario. There's no real mention of these crystals or whatever in the plot. It, they just suddenly happen and now we're doing stuff related to them. It's just Bowser decided he was going to... Oh, we can possess the lightning while also still possessing Bowser. This is how powerful Bowser is. Song is also Pauline. Oh, okay. This is just... So it's the same actress. He just is like, I'm gonna set it on the moon, and everybody's like, you shouldn't do that. There's like some weird artifacts and shit on the moon. And Bowser's like, no, it'll be a great here? idea. I... What? Is this why the x knots were here? Yeah, they were they were using that as their energy source. I did it. So I now what? Sis. Oh. Oh man. Bring the music back. Oh, come on. No. Reconsider. And then suddenly it gets Ronma. That's how you end a game. This is how... Well, you know what? I'm glad that this ending exists, because with this ending, we got Bowsette, so... No, you're both equally bad. Fuck both of you. You spoiled... You spoiled the ending for, of this game for me. I did? I, yeah, I tried not me. to mention this. You, but you did, and, and so... When did I? You, like, you're like, oh, they, they, they reject each other. Oh. And they, she's Is just, she just gonna she... leave? What a bitch! <laughs> this is... This is the worst Princess Peach has ever been. No, oh, it's okay, it's cool. That was such an anime sequence. Yes. There was a uh, there was a mini corruption that had like a like a horrible fucked up Peach riding in the ending sequence of uh, Mario World, and they just talked about a head cannon of Peach just being an awful abusive ruler and Mario having his back broken working for her for decades. That's uh, that's a growing thing because because Mario does a lot for her and Peach just kind of is still aloof to him. When are we gonna get King Mario? <laughs> Never, that's one. No. That'd be that'd be evil alternate universe Mario that fights uh, Bowser in his game. Like, just he, like he's a king, he's evil? King King Mario kidnaps uh, Bowser Jr. and Bowser's like going to go get get him get him back from I remember there's a Donkey Kong game where there's Donkey Kong Jr. where Donkey Kong was trying to Junior was trying to save Donkey Kong from the clutches of Jumpman. Well, I know that, but they, you could, like, marry Peach and live happily as a nice king. Is that an option? No, you see, the franchise can't end. We can do something we with we'll that, I don't know. Make, make it Civilization gonna... Mario Edition. Mario is a Sid strategy Meier's game, Mario but Civilization. with less rabbits. And then Mario reconsidered Pauline. Hey, Pauline. Remember? Uh, Pauline didn't seem to recognize him the first time, or it, like, was it took that her a minute. Oh, Mario! I remember when you stopped with, uh, with DK. Yeah, we're That's friends right. now. You were, uh, you were the, like heavily involved in the events that formed the foundation of this city. Arctic rescue, uh, uh, Mario, <laughs> over there. No, that's not how I remember it. I was—I seem to distinctly recall wearing a pirate outfit. No, you're wrong. Remember that time we fought the dragon? Good times. That was great. That was a—that was a tier one boss fight. That was, was the just coolest the part of that game. Of this game was that world. Yeah. I was kind of disappointed by how empty the Bowser version seemed to be. 
and the lack of a ninja outfit. I would love to see Ninja Mario. Samurai Mario work too, I guess. Although I gotta say the final sequence where you possess Bowser and play as him, that was really awesome. Even if it, if the circumstances leading up to it were just kind of um, odd. Yeah. It was just kind of a weird circumstance where it's just like, oh, these crystals are actually evil, and you're like, wait, what? Okay. Suddenly crystals. Thank you so much for to. No, it's for to playing. You did so it long. wrong, you motherfucker. So long, Gabe Bowser. <laughs> Look, the crystals are so magical all right, and spooky. All right, what the fuck is up with these crystals? So these are like a, these are a post-game thing. Those blocks that we were seeing all over the game are now cracked, and we can bust them open to, I think, release extra moons in each world. Okay, but but what are the but what are they? Oh, we can travel to the Mushroom Kingdom now. Magic space rocks. That's all we're gonna. We're not gonna get any more than that. Don't ask questions. They're element zero. It's it's weird seeing like a weird ass cosmic horror level of unexplainable entity in a Mario game. Okay, so now we've unlocked the ability to purchase multiple moons at the shop. I guess we didn't have it before now. All right, let's just let's just enjoy Mushroom Kingdom. Let's for look around a bit. the Mushroom this... Kingdom and then. Uh... Is there a shop in Mushroom Kingdom? We should see if there's. So. We'll look around the Mushroom Kingdom, and then uh, I think I'll probably play off stream to the point that we can access the hardest, the challenge mode, the hero's run of the game. And Sounds that, good. That will be our final stream of it. No, that'll be fun. And then after we get this done, we can finally start hat in time. Oh yeah, and Jack. Will and be by we, that. I mean me. <laughs> I liked our travel so much. I don't want our journey to end. So let's do the post game. There's so many hats you need to meet. I bet if we collected even more power moons, we'll be able to travel somewhere new. Our trip is travel. far from over. So because it's not going to be on camera, I'll tell you what the other places are. The dark side of the moon, which okay. is just a more expansive part of the moon with a few moons scattered about. The darker side of the moon. <laughs> Which oh, I think man. is a boss gauntlet where you fight all the rabbits again. Ho hoorah. Are and, they are they all zombies? And can you guess the final area? Oh, the final... Is it just called the final area? It's the darkest side of the moon. Oh my god. That's that's, that's the hero's run, is the darkest side. Oh, hey, hey Weege. Why you got hey. a balloon? You saved Princess Peach, huh? So proud of you. Enough of that. Get yeah. this! I came up with a new game! I call it Balloon World. It's a game where you search for balloons hidden by people all over the world. Oh. If you play, it's your high like... score, nickname, and profile icon will show up in other people's games. Don't be, oh, okay. a, don't be lewd, Mario. <laughs> don't have a dick profile. No promises. Okay, let's play Balloon World. Connecting to network. First, we'll move to the starting point. This was also a meme, is that Luigi is not allowed to touch the ground in this game. <laughs> You'll have 30 seconds to find the balloon I've hid. Once you leave the starting area, find it will begin. Hmm. Kids, can you help me find Luigi's balloon? Could it be it... up high? Could it be no. down low? Oh, hey, it's Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> I was just I was thinking of ah! uh, that uh, Monty Python sketch how not to be seen tells you how close you are I, that was too easy but I guess that was the point take 50 coins and have a time bonus this time I hid the balloon but in the real thing players from all over the world will hide balloons and glitch them into walls and do nasty shit really? There, there, there were cases of that. I assume that the game has been patched since then a bit. For each three coins you collect, you get one second added to the time limit. Oh, okay. So this is a, this is a neat little uh, online functionality to the game. Hide and go seek. I wish Hat and Time had something like this. I don't think it really does have that kind of online functionality. Are you going to hide the balloon? 
you can take your time and hide it far away or quickly hide it nearby. It's the Walter balloon. Where are we going to hide it? Not that it matters uh, we're on stream. People are going to see it. Yeah, they're going to cheat. You should blank out your screen. I could, but who, who really cares? Do it. Do it. Do it. Do All it. right. Wee. Oh, I can't see it. Oh, well, just hide it. Uh, for those of you just tuning in, uh, he blanked out his screen because he's hiding the balloon. He doesn't want you to find it. I don't know where easily. I'm gonna put it anyway. What if I what if I just like took a long time and made it sound like I was going really far and then didn't? Is that what you're doing now? No, that'd be a silly thing to do. By the way, um, I found Tuxedo Knuckles. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a scene where it's just tuxedo knuckles in a tuxedo outfit, just uh, and he's taught he's saying something to uh, to Sally, and Sonic is in the background going, "What?" Sonic comics get weird. Yeah. Which balloon do you want to look at, Walt Paper Carly? TNT. Dynamite. Reward, uh, so you have to pay to play, and if you find it, you get a reward. Oh, wow. So it's it's gambling. Let's try Paper Carly's. That was an arrow. So, uh, Mushroom Kingdom seems pretty peaceful. Oh, it's right down there. One hundred coins, so third coins. So if you find our balloon, g congratulations. There's, there's a, there's tails a nice in a tuxedo. Bonus. Oh, I got a moped? What a wonderful moped. vehicle. What's a wonderful... Oh, hey, there's a chat shop. How, how do I... I want to shop. My rank increase. Check with Luigi. I want to yeah, shop. It's in, the, it's, in the shi it's in the ship. Oh, I thought that was our ship. But no, that, that, you thought that was the Odyssey? You fool. Hi. What do you Hi. got? By the boxers. It's a it's a power moon. What they look like in the Mushroom Kingdom. <laughs> the the secrets out. Football. You want to play some football? Da 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 da. Ske I, skeleton. <laughs> the skeleton costume uses cutting edge something to uh. Look, we're not sure how this works, but it's cool, right? What else we got? Uh, Luigi. Ouija cap. Musician hat. Hey. <gasps> Ideal suit for a jazzy a retro Mario, pastiche number. Super Mario Sunshine outfit. Yes. Sunshine shades. Sunshine outfit. Night. Oh, Night, Night Mario. Night Mario. He jumps high. That's how you know he's What out. the true traditionalist wears when rescuing a princess from a fire breathing monster. So we got Orbit Adventure. It's a teleview. Okay. A memento of some forgotten service. Oh, okay. I, I remember. This, uh, this represents what the future used to look like. <laughs> we got baseball. So we got... Oh. Topper. Uh, Irish uh, Mario. We have. Smells of carrots and broken promises. Ex <laughs> Excite Racing Bite helmet. Mario. Rango, do you, who is really gonna bother dressing up as the rabbits? Somebody with too much time on their hands. Especially if you dress as the female rabbit. Outward That's, and lovely that... gown. The interior structure is <gasps> rotted away. And oh, look. on by a thread. The foppish Mario. <laughs> Sorry, not it fop. It does uh, look that's, that that's... way. What, it's, is, that, uh... is that a slur now? No? Yes? It's Judge Judge Mario. 
and Dr. Wait, Outfit. Zombie Mario! Oh, okay. And then we got Anta. Christmas Mario. Another red hat beloved by children. And 8-Bit Mario. Oh, okay. That's a lot of hats with a lot of coin. They really so, want you to have lots to save to coins unlock for. By the way, uh, apparently, apparently, I, I heard that uh, that FOP is considered uh, uh, offensive, so I'm, so I'm phasing that out. Oh, Mario 64 okay. outfit. Sweet. Mushroom cushion set. Hey, you won coins. Good Gotta job. Go get some purple coins. Oh. What? Your balloon got popped. Somebody found your balloon. What are you? You're a fruit. It's very idyllic, the Mushroom Kingdom. This this is a place Ganondorf would want to conquer. <laughs> uh, envied that win, I suppose. God damn it's it, just, Mario. It's fucking uh, Throw Mama from the train, except with Bowser and uh, Ganondorf. Throw Mama? Uh, or like the the movie Strangers on a Train or something, where, uh, where two people, they meet each other on a... They meet each other on, a tr uh, on like a train, and they're like, hey, how about if you kill my... Spouse, I kill yours. Crisscross, and then nobody will uh, will figure it out. Where can we plant this? I don't know. That must have, is this uh, is this like an old movie? Yeah, it's an old movie. Okay, it must have been something that was uh, parodied in uh, Robot Chicken because they did that with Orlando OJ and uh, Roger Rabbit was a sketch. <laughs> O.J. Simpson? Yeah. And Roger Rab But but Roger Rabbit and and uh and, uh, and Jessica Rabbit, they loved each other. Well, not in this sketch. I guess they they didn't love each other in the novel. Oh, by the way, Who Framed Roger Rabbit was based on a novel. Yeah, I I didn't know. Is uh it was called Who Censored Roger Rabbit and basically uh, Roger Rabbit creates a duplicate of himself and the original gets murdered so uh, Eddie Valiant has to figure out who killed him before uh, before the double disappears because he's only got a limited amount of time left okay that's quite a different story from the movie yes in fact uh, the author of the story liked it so much that he based his sequels off the movie and and said that Jessica Rab the events of the first book were dream Jessica Rabbit had. Oh, okay. <laughs> Man, fuck whatever I was doing. <laughs> this is very rare you have an adaptation that, like, is way better than, uh, than whatever somebody was trying to do, and they're just like, oh, fuck whatever I was doing. This guy did it better. I wonder if the Full Metal... Uh, alchemist manga author had an opinion on the anime continuity. A lot of people uh, a lot of people I don't... I know people disliked it I know I'm in the minority who uh, preferred it to work like, good. Yeah. That's why I'm curious if the author had a th had any thoughts on it. I wonder if the reason why people dislike it was because well, the author was like, well, I, I didn't like it I think it was just on the principle that, oh no, it's not canon it's not the adaptation we wanted at least that's the main complaint. The only complaint I've ever really heard about it. Well, how's this gonna work? Going underground, Luigi. You're just gonna head to the very end, and then you're gonna run all all the way back. Cool, cool puzzle. I had someone uh, arguing to me earlier today that Tetris shouldn't be considered a puzzle game, and similar games like it. It, it is a puzzle. Because of the concept of, like, other puzzles being you go in with all the information and have to reason out what to do. Yeah, you know what you're doing going in. You gotta reason out what to do with Tetris. 
I mean, I think it makes sense to call it a puzzle game. Yeah. It is a puzzle game. The puzzle is is making sure that the lines are down. What is you it, get action? random pieces. You don't go in with the same with the information. You don't go in with a single solution. Oh yeah, because you know exactly what to do, and Baba is you. You don't. You go in with with all the information, and Baba is you. Awful news! Princess Peach has gone missing again. She packed mm. her suitcase, happy as can be, and walked off. We can't find her anywhere. Oh, she just she just left. Okay. So she's not only like rude to us; she's an unreliable ruler. All right, Toadette. Yeah, she. She's not. Hope you don't mind, but I've been traveling the world and keeping track of your achievos. Not achievements, achievos. Yeah, they, she said achievements. Okay. You've rescued thought... Princess Peach. Congrats. Do we get anything? You can also see the names you've got you'll get for all your achievements. Add some hints to the Power Moon list. Okay. Someone, so when Bowser world took peace. So when Bowser took over in Super Mario 64, did he just like alter the interior of Again, the it's, it's been somewhat different in every game it's appeared in. Paper Mario and Mario 64 were the closest, but even then there were differences. So uh so Princess Peach's castle is the uh, polar opposite of uh, of Castlevania of the Castlevania. Where is it the same every time? No, it's different every time. Castlevania's layout is chaotic; it changes. It's, that's the same. So, with Peach's castle. Yeah. So it's so it's, so it's light side Castlevania. Yeah. It's light side Castlevania. That's why I said polar opposite, not complete opposite. Uh, squawk, 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 squawk. Oh, there's some coins. Yeah. Mario's climbing on the fountain again. He's fucking Mario. Let him. Mario's gone insane ever since Princess Peach rejected him for marriage. And just left him there. No wonder he went with Bowsette. Oh, I'm still too short. Mario, are you okay? It'll be okay, Mario. Stupid coins. Do the do the dive, oh wait. Can, can you imagine if DLC came out for this game that was like you go to Hyrule Kingdom? That'd be cool. Possess Unfortunately, only Sonic shit. gets to do things like that. Yeah. Mario's just not cool enough. Mario ROM hack where every world is a different Nintendo game. Just in the style of Mario. The first one is obviously Mushroom Kingdom stuff. And then you get next uh, next level you go to Hyrule Kingdom. Next level you go to you go to uh, Zebes from Metroid Prime. Or Metroid, not Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime goes somewhere else. I mean, you're describing a big Nintendo crossover, which everyone would love, but they only are willing to do it with Smash Brothers. Yes. How the fuck do I get that? Um... <laughs> you don't, you just go in the water. You live there, die there. Gone are days of wind and fire. Cloaked in scales, we swim and swim home. You need the you need the the rocket flower. I guess. Was there one nearby? I mean, is there any other way to get there quickly enough? I like there's just mushrooms just chilling and you're just kicking them over. I don't need mushrooms anymore. I'm super all the time. Can I warp? Drive. No, you just... No, you just stand in a pile of flowers, as you would expect to happen when you stand in a pile of flowers. Oh! 
Yeah, you did, like... <laughs> no, get off. I don't think that's good for it. Oh, you made it. Okay, I didn't think I thought you didn't make it for a second. Born to be wild. Yeah, Mario's a rebel, riding his Vespa. Vespa. God, imagine if there was a Metal Gear game where one of the characters rode a Vespa. Not a Metal Gear, sorry. Uh, Twisted Metal. I only get off when I die or fall in love. Yeah, Twisted Metal, but with... Uh... A charmingly blocky version of a classic. When you want to wrap yes. yourself in nostalgia. <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> That's so cool. This game is pretty cool. Someone stole my bike! Now, if only it had, like, Super Mario 64 physics. Oh, there's still a... throw your hat. Where's the music list? We unlocked that, and I don't remember where it's at. Action guide. Options? No. Can you still throw your hat? Yeah. Okay. I'm way- wow, I'm way behind. <laughs> well, it'd be nice to be able to, uh, change the music. I know there's a way to do it, because we unlocked that feature. I just don't you know to how. Do, it. do you have to do it at, uh... Can it only be done in, in, at the Odyssey? Oh, hello. We're the roving racers. We rove the globe racing in every kingdom we can get to. Oh, you're not Koopa the Quick? We we race, bro. Race us to the goal and get there first. There's a bright beacon at the finish line. The roving racers, not Koopa the Quick. We can't reuse fucking... Oh, there's a little game and watch, fella. Fuck! Is there a Man. reset button? You just... You just... You just... Tough break! Tough break indeed. I wanted the pretty no, flower. No, not... Not tough break because you couldn't break. I'm reminded of uh, of that scene in Total Recall where, like, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is in a cab with somebody and they're trying to evade. And uh, the, uh, he ends up, like, making a bad turn. He's about to crash into a storefront. And then the guy, like, wall, like, the guy ends up, like, careening towards the, the storefront and he yells out, No brakes! Yeah. As he does, and I just like to think he didn't even try. <laughs> or, or, alternatively, those things don't have brakes. <laughs> For some reason, they're just like, oh, we, this thing doesn't have any brakes. But yeah, he's just crashing through like a whole bunch of stuff, and all of a Schwarzenegger just turns and he yells, What the hell are you doing? It's great. Wait, Koopa free running. Is there more racing? So this has online functionality. Oh. And you can uh, race against the other Koopas or other players and what the routes they took. Oh. Oh, you 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 fucked up. Yeah, that gold guy got the uh 
optimum route. He's getting all the flowers. First. Hey, oh, he fucked up. I guess. You. New so this record. is uh, this is competitive speed running. Is the is the Koopa free running? <laughs> and some people get crazy times. I don't remember if you can like. Uh, I don't think there's a way to choose which Koopas you race, unfortunately. Unfortunately. So you can't like pick the best guy's time and race him. So it's a luck-based mission. I'm looking for, I think the door we need the 64 outfit for is in the Goomba Woods. The Goomba Woods? Yeah. Hey, you need oh, to be okay. low poly. What? So there are these pipes around that lead to rooms like this that are repeat boss battles. So you can fight oh, okay. the boss again for another power moon. Oh, man. I think the I fight just is love... no different, though. I love the idea that, like, Castlevania is the is the Muramasa to Princess Peach Castle's Matsumune. Yeah. Just the, the yin to its yang. For whatever reason, just the idea just just makes me laugh. Yeah, this castle also changes shape every uh, year or so, but we just we just, we just it's like spring cleaning. We're used maybe, to it. Maybe it also moves according to Princess Peach's whims. Yeah. It'd be a very strange trait for the uh, mushroom castle. Here we go. Did I need to find you? Can you, can you, if you stop, will you dance? You just stop in front of it. Thought you were able to dance. Yeah, you are! I knew it! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's Japanese. Poly dancing. They couldn't dub it. I'm sure the English version's in there, too. Just gotta hit it again. This game was really something. I, 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 I enjoyed it. Yeah. I don't know... I don't know if I think it's better than Galaxy or not, though. I really enjoyed Galaxy and Galaxy 2. Those were... Those were very challenge, fun, challenging games. Ow. Mario, what are you doing? He's hot. I think my favorite is still Mario 64, but I don't know. I'll have to I'll have to play this off stream. See what I think. Of, see what I think of it a little more. Sunshine is not really my favorite, but I don't dislike it. It's just it's just got some weird design stuff going on. Man, low poly Mario. Somebody looks at him and there is just like uncanny valley. Just like, what the fuck? Because it's still shaded like this game is shaded. Despite the yeah. low poly model. Yeah, it's it's like a it's like a robot. Wait, if you hit the flower, it sounds like the P speed like oh, yeah. sound effect. So where the hell is this door at? Oh. Hello. Peace, speed. You know what I miss? Your blocky polygonal look. Glad to let you in anytime you're dressed like that. And you're so classic right now. Dressed? This is something he just cho he could just choose to wear. He just got better, higher quality clothing. Hell is real. Hell is real. What does it say now? I'm trying to I'm trying to zoom in. It won't let me. I think it's the exact Here. same texture. Twenty four oh one. And you know what? After all, this, all after all this time the the prophecy came true. Oh fuck. Fuck up. Wait. Oh, do you have to fight him? I think I have to beat him in a certain order, but 
Yeah. They're, they're moving. That's going to be hard to keep track of. <laughs> your fight, your greatest challenge. Get the right skeleton order. Operation Spooky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Oh, those ghost things have starry eyes. It's like you're fighting, uh, it's like you're fighting, uh, an alternate universe Sans. You ever see that? Apparently there's somebody did like a series of uh, Undertale alternate universes or like multiple people did and one where it was just like uh, certain pairs got swapped around like uh, Sans and Papyrus. So Papyrus was the cool uh, was the cool lazy dude and Sans was the, the, the hyper kinetic uh, one and that Sans had like starry eyes like ah human. Yeah. yeah. Ow. How'd you miss? One is the far right on the top of the stone. No, it's not. Yeah. One. Oh, the far, far right, right on top. The, I thought you meant the top right. I lose track after one, two, three. And then I accidentally step on them because they're so easy to kill. You're, I think you're supposed to open the chests in a certain order. You're not supposed to kill those, get the skeletons in a certain order. Oh. Yeah. I, I thought think it this was is... the skeletons. I, I was overcomplicating. Yeah. Because the, the, cause the hat said, do we need to open them in a certain order? But wait, no. The starting chest is what starting... spawns the skeletons. No, because you're not hitting the starting chest. The starting chest is one. Okay. Here. Do you remember the order? that one. No, 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 no. Not that one. To the right. To the right. The, the right of the big... There. That one. And yeah, top see, left? Two, two top left. Three is the other one. Alright, four. Turn around. Just say bottom on the left, right. bottom right, whatever. For the... Uh, bottom, it, it's bottom left from where you are. Then right. And then that one. And then, no, not not that one. Wait, where is it, that one? Shit. I think it's, I think it's uh, the furthest one, and then you double back and hit the other one. Yeah, okay, I was right. <laughs> you have to kill the skeletons in a certain order. That's sadistic. All that for one star. We don't even get Luigi. Well, you have to unlock the Luigi outfit. We can just get his cap. Tragic memento. Luigi's hat. I think there's a frog on this map, even like parkour all the way to the top of the castle. By the way, I just noticed this castle is kind of floating above the the pond, the the water. Oh yeah, yeah it's supported. Oh, okay. Certain parts of it are. Imagine you. Oh man. Imagine you play as a platformer, right? And you have to navigate it like an expansive castle, but instead of it looking like uh, like dark as fuck, it looks like uh, it's all like happy and bright and cheerful, and the enemies are all like are all like traditionally good aligned fantasy stuff, and the bosses are all that'd be that'd be an interesting experience. Yeah. Doubling back to Cap Kingdom, huh? I was just show off the basic uh, post-game things, like break the rock and all. Nope, I know how to jump. Thank you, Cappy. 
Oh, hey, Luigi. Oh, is Luigi there? Oh, he's he's he controls the balloons. Like a whole bunch of energy concentrated together? Let's check it out. Yeah, the weird MacGuffins. Welcome back. <laughs> We've been keeping track of the good work you've been doing. I just love the fact that the idea that fucking uh, Bowser, these people are like asking Bowser, Bowser, what did you do? And he's like, I don't know. Oh, there's uh, there's coins scattered about the hat, the Cap Kingdom now. Oh, are there is there a specialty uh, oh, shop here? I wonder that, what the shop uses here sells. it. What was the other oh, place we that we went? The Dragon Place. Well, no, that wouldn't have a shop because like the Cloud Kingdom didn't, and that was just a boss fight world. Yeah. Wait, you're not even going to say hi? I don't want to search for balloons right now, Luigi. We have shit we need to do. Hello. Alright, what do you guys sell? Oh, yeah, Soup Mario! Blacktop Mario. Oh, another one. I guess we had the, uh, we had the gangster suit. This one's yeah, this more one, of a... This one's English Mario. Mr. Monopoly. Yeah. Oh, I need a... I always... Right. You get the winged Goombas to fly around on this level. Mario, uh... Uh, so Monopoly... Is, uh, was like supposed to be like a critique against uh, cap against capitalism. Which makes sense because you start playing Monopoly and uh, and the longer you play the more you just want out of it. Yeah. I don't think I've ever finished a game of Monopoly ever. That wasn't a video game version. It's tough. Should we play? Let's play Monopoly. I've never seen a Let's Play of Monopoly. Uh, Achievement Hunter did several. And, uh... I think the second time, as soon as someone was out of the game, they just left the video. They couldn't be bothered to stay. And everyone yeah, else that's... was yelling at them, Where the fuck are you going? We're done with... No, nope, I'm even... out. GG. They didn't even do that with Uno. When they Uno didn't. was going too long. That's how bad Monopoly is. I think by the third time they played it, they did a let's play, they did Monopoly in Minecraft. And Ray just, they walked up to the board, Ray saw it, and he's like, oh no! <laughs> what, what is it? It's, it's Monopoly. There's no reason to fucking play Monopoly. Once you played it once, you know that, like, there's, you know what the game is about, you know that capitalism is bullshit. It's more fun to watch people suffer while playing Monopoly than it is to play Monopoly. Yeah. It's like watching somebody who's really good at the game play like a really shitty game. Look at all the moons we spawned. Bowser, why did you set your wedding on top of a bunch of mysterious energy rocks? I thought it'd be cool! It was! I just, I just love the fact that, that that was unrelated to Bowser's play. He just picked the wrong place to set up a... It's like it's like if you're, you're watching a wedding and then some, and then the bride's, uh, like, friend is, like, is, like, there and he's fighting the groom and then suddenly it turns out that the, that the venue was built on a bunch of sinkholes and then suddenly the, it just starts to collapse all at once. Into an Indian burial ground. <laughs> Or whatever the fuck was going on with that. Like, seriously, what was up with the fucking moon rocks? You hear something? What? What? Uh, no, what? Why? I thought I heard something. Hear something? That's like a prelude for a tank exploding. Don't say that lightly. So that adds more, uh, moons, huh? Yes. And there's one other thing I'm looking for before we stop. Oh, what's this? There's another one? It, there's, like, a magical crystal pipe? Where's this Yeah, go? go for it. Go for it. Let's see. Is this, like, a 
Oh, it's a slide! It's a slide. Do it. Whoa! I guess less of a slide now that uh, the mechanics have changed oh, so that you roll. One. I can't jump out of it, so I am stuck rolling. I can kind of do a little hop is all. This we Sonic now. With hoedown music. Yeehaw, Knuckles! You're just saying that because I wear a cowboy hat. <laughs> Why was he wearing a cowboy there hat? There was no fucking reason in that movie. We never watched the <laughs> Sonic movie. Maybe we should do a watch of that. It's like 45 yeah. minutes, I think. <laughs> I'm just... The, the, the oh. animated Sonic movie, not the, the new one. I, you know what? I just, I would love it more if, like, if, like, iconic characters just varied up their outfit from time to time. Like, imagine just if occasionally no you just see Mario just wear a different variant on his... Uh, red shirt, overalls, and hat look. Mario, why are you wearing a different outfit? But don't you ever change clothes, weirdo? <laughs> like one day you can see Sonic, and he and and he has different. Hey, of different outfits. Oh yeah, that looks. Glad to see you're still traveling. Tr yeah, and I too. have decided to take a trip around the world. Super Peach Odyssey. Yes. It'll be nice to see all these places we visited before, but on our own terms. That's nice. Isn't the scenery breathtaking? Yeah, it's a pretty cool world. This is the Tim Burton world. Yeah. Night. It's a. Chim chimney chim. So uh, Peach what? is now in all the worlds in a different little uh, outfit for the world. Oh and man, I wonder what some of the other. Her. Oh, is she gonna wear a kimono in Bowser World? I don't know. I don't remember all her outfits. Or is she just gonna dress in like sam in like samurai armor as well? Are there any in particular you're curious about seeing? Should we go find her in Bowser World? Let's just find her in all. Yeah, let's find her in Bowser World. I was gonna say let's just speed run finding Peach in all the worlds. I don't know exactly where she is in all of them, so it would have to oh. find them. I think she's nearby the ship in the dinosaur one. Oh, Cascade Kingdom? I think. I'm not Kingdom. positive, though. Who's the king in Cascade Kingdom? Is it just the T-Rex? Yes. Okay, yeah. I rule. I'm the king dinosaur because I'm the biggest dinosaur. <laughs> Maybe Yoshi's the king. Yoshi! They know not to fuck with him. He took out, like, a, a giant kaiju Bowser. Yeah, that was his greatest moment of, like... By hurling his offspring at him, no less. <laughs> how do eggs... How how do eggs work? It's like that dude who summoned, uh... Who, sum, who summoned his supernova, like, a galaxy, just to use the moment it died to launch 500 big bangs at a villain. Yeah. In that one fanfiction I read. Hello, Koopa. No, we're not doing a race, Koopa. I'm sorry. Well, oh, that was an expert level dodge. Hey, Luigi. Hey, Luigi. Y'all seen a princess? I don't see her. I'm sure she's around. Oh, is that her? No, that's a scarecrow. This world's not that big. Uh, thank you, ITV Sweaty. Callum. Or TTV. Thank you for the. Anyway, thank you for the subscription. Hello, welcome to the stream. We're, look, we're right, looking we're... for Peaches. We, ju we just beat the game. Yeah, we discovered that Peach has a different outfit for every world, and now I'm just like, yeah, I gotta see that shit. It's like the Bulma outfits in Dragon Ball, but actually worth seeing. 
Yeah, let's play through the entire story and get seven Dragon Balls again. Yeah. Let's do it in a, on a story mode that takes, like, three hours to complete every single time. To get an outfit that we've already seen in the anime. The that's, most uh, annoying collectathon. That's a moon sitting up there. That's not a princess. We're getting, I that's guess. That's no princess. It's a moon. God damn it. You did it again, didn't you? So for those of you just tuning in, he's having trouble doing the dive. Every time he tries to do the dive, he, he ends up ground pounding instead. Oh, is there a... There's a power line. Where are we can ride Over that? there, yes. We could look up where the... Uh... We could look up where the princess is in each of the kingdoms. We want to go straight it. to her. Uh, this is uh, Rog speaking. The other fellow is Jack. Uh, I the have seen the game before, playing. but never played it. Jack was going in completely blind. Yep, I was actually hoping to play it, but uh, unfortunately, uh, our living arrangements changed, and I and that was not the case. Oh, hello, Mr. Dinosaur. I'll leave Dinosaur. You yeah, he's the king of this place. Leave your, leave your like sovereign alone. That's the I best love kind of just sovereign, being... right? The kind that just doesn't want anything to do with you. You know what? I would love if there was a character that was like a fucking Tyrannosaurus Rex, and he was intelligent. He actually did rule, like benevolently. Yeah. He just happened to be a giant fucking T Rex. Nobody would fuck with him. Hello. Sorry, I got distracted. Maybe we can see her from up here. Did you see her from up here? There she is up there. I think she is up there. Is that her? To the left? Oh, no, I guess not. There's just a hat. What are you doing here? I heard there was a real caveman around here. I'd love to meet one. Oh. Okay. oh well, I'm not that currently. Sorry. Cascade Kingdom. I'm sorry I'm so disappointing. Uh, you're... you're close. I think she's on... yeah, she's by the power line. On the top of the power line. You were there, I said, hey, that might be her, and then you... continue. you just proceeded to move away from her. Well, I went in the where I thought she was, which seemed like where you were saying was left, and then you didn't correct no. me. No. So I assumed that was where you were talking about. Yes, you assumed. You assumed that I was going there. Video quality is too shitty for me to, to read the chat mostly, unfortunately. Oh, sorry. There she is. Hey, it's Explorer Peach. Yeah. Careful That's not bad, get so actually. so entranced by the big waterfall that you fall. I used to come yeah. here a lot to play when I was little. Oh, you did? Oh, she she collected the moon that fell down the waterfall. <laughs> I'd like to see those big ruins in the desert again. Do we have to find her in each world to find her, then find her in the next? I... maybe? I don't know. Uh, Sand Kingdom, she's on top of the inverted pyramid. Okay. That's a little bit of a climb. Yeah, at least you know. Uh, she's on the uh, southwest side. I mean, feel free to tell us where she is, Callum. I have the wiki up. Sand Kingdom. putting together a uh, character acting demo. I got the voice parts down. I got to I got to work on like sound effects, making it sound nice and everything now. Nice. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to read chat. I'm also like playing the game. Jack, read chat. I I don't have chat up. I, I was using the bottom up. of the screen. Hold Post on. Arena. 
I like uh, Mario doesn't emote in that in that. Uh, the moon rock here is glowing too. I, I guess we should have gone to that. Oh, somebody's doing. I just opened up Twitch and somebody's doing a concert. Somebody's wearing a Shakira T-shirt. Oh, okay. And uh, oh yeah, I, that that reminds me of that uh, of that Saturday Night Live sketch where uh, where the guy was haunted at night because the people who who made the Avatar movies used papyrus as the font. The like James Cameron's Avatar. Yeah. Yeah, I did you, I've I've posted that. You didn't you didn't w watch it? That was it you posted the sketch? Yeah. Oh, apparently not. It was great. He's just like talking to his therapist and there was like, "Wait, that movie from from a few years ago?" Yeah, he just he just put it up like a thoughtless child. And they're like, "And you're worried about the new movies that are coming out? They're making more?" <laughs> So they changed the artwork. They fixed it. Um, it looks similar. Then he flipped the table. Oh, I wanna go up, Mario. Go up, Mario! Jump, right, Mario, cool. I jump! Have that up now. Jump! I know I'm what you so did. Much of this. I know what you did. Notice me. Okay, I got the chat up. No, I saw you. Well, we already knew to go to the inverted pyramid in this one. Yeah, I, I uh. Alright. Southwest. Of the inverted pyramid? Yeah, they're southwest on the inverted pyramid. You're. you're... You were going north. Chompy? Chompy! Alright. Oh. Hello! Oh, the desert? What do you. Okay, repeat what you said Try about the desert. That. I think this huge stone thing could float. The world is full of wonders. How does it float? Why is it inverted? So mysterious. So, uh, which one of these is the Scolder and which one's the... Sorry, Mulder and Scully. <laughs> I'm guessing she's the Mulder. Maybe the ghost is Scully. I'm telling you, I've seen lots of lots of crazy mystical things. Nah, he, nah you're just imagining it. I thought she was on the northwest corner of the desert. No, not, not according to the wiki. Honestly. All right. There you are. Just hack magic All right. warp. Late Kingdom, it's where you fought Rango. The brutal. You know where that is? Uh, I think. Yeah. Uh... What so this mean? this might help if uh, if you okay, if you're so unfamiliar. Are they in a set order then? What? I guess they're in a set order then because she mentioned yeah. the water area. Yeah. Uh. Quadrant B two. Oh, okay, thank you. I guess. Yeah, that's where. I guess it's in the map. It'll it'll be like there's coordinates. Hmm? Right, feel free. Just tell us where to go, Callum. I'm going to be looking for the place that I think I fought the Brutal. The Moon Rock. Mario, help! Okay, you can fuck off now! Hey, that looks like the platform. That looks important. I see her. I don't... I don't recognize... All right, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let TTV, uh, sweaty, take care of it. 
His uh, his I'm, I'm matchup. Gonna get it. I don't think I'll ever like Mario level uh, water levels, but at least the three D Mario ones look nice. You know, you know what a game has good water levels. What Mega Man? Because the water levels don't change shit. It's just Mega Man just moving. Jump higher. Sonic water levels fill me with tension, so I can't say in good conscience they're better. Is she in, is she in, ba in a bathing suit? Oh yes. Hello. Yes. Yeah, a very modest bathing suit. Can't decide what's lovelier here. The people or the architecture. I was just thinking about that place with the beautiful flower fields. Got it. Oh, you can fast travel. Is it on the top part or on the first mission place in Wooded? Oh, the observation tower. Products added to the shop. Oh, really? Okay. 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 I think the that's right. The regular coin shop is universal. What are what other stuff get is added? For what? For oh, the post game? For the shop? What what could they possibly add? Ouija. What? There was already a lot of stuff that I didn't recognize, so I wonder if they patched more outfits in over time. Probably, like, holiday stuff. the time stuff. I saw it was when Vinny played it, which was a while ago. It was after launch. Place is on. Can you... Hmm. I guess we can warp around so that makes it easier. Yeah. I didn't even know there was fast travel until now. We haven't had we haven't needed to use it a lot. Because it's always just progressing forward, never back. Secret flower field entrance, Sky Garden Tower. I don't think it's. Uh, you think it's the Secret Garden? Hold on. Might be Sky Garden Tower. Nope. Wait, what? He's back? Did we fight this already? No, this is this is not the original boss of this area. Hold on, go to the map. Go, uh, open the map. I know. I go to assume I had to go outside first. Okay. Down. Zoom in. This was the boss fight. Go back to the map, please. Alright. I'm just I was following where Callum told me to go. He told me to go to the boss fight. Oh, okay. Where are you looking? That matches. All right, we're uh, we're on the right track. Where is it? Uh, you just go south, and you'll get okay. there. Okay. I think it's on top. So you want to go up. Uh-oh! Fuck, I can't teleport while I'm falling. Oh, look, you fell down Drown. several, like, just to the to a floor. 
Hey, you know, that would be lethal if he wasn't Mario, okay? Well, you are Mario, so don't fret. It only sucks if you fall to, like, uncertain doom. There you go. Now climb. You say that with, with such disdain. Like now climb, climb, slave. Oh, sorry. I'll say it, I'll say it the right way. Better start climbing. Oh, this there again. You go. Uh, slightly different. I've never seen so many flowers. Smashing. Is it different? Um, you know, I don't know. Fuck, where are you going? Uh... I wonder what there is above the clouds. Nothing. I fought Bowser there. There was fuck all. So, I, I got suspicious and I'm checking the, the pictures and, um... It seems like several of the outfits are reused multiple times. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's only just the four. The four? Oh, yeah, so the... we've seen all of them? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm looking. Oh, no, Luncheon Kingdom has a different one. Oh, okay. We're going to Luncheon Kingdom next. Oh, so there, we don't have to do them in order? No, I don't think so. We didn't go to the... She's got to have a new one for the Snow Kingdom. It'll just be like a snow outfit, probably. Snow Kingdom? Uh... It's the same as uh, as Hat Kingdom. Huh. Alright, so where is she in... Where did we just go to? Luncheon Kingdom. Luncheon Kingdom. Uh... Pranzo Plaza. Look for the large pot of stew near the crazy cap store. Oh, it's a party here. This stew gets great reviews. Oh wow, that's cool. I like Everyone's how there's these like stew. New York like people. Are just... Imagine we got to go to Zora's domain and it was unfrozen. That's cool. Our stew so, is there's... chewier this time. Yeah. There she is. Oh, he's got like uh, overalls on. Farmer Peach. Yep, with a sun hat. Between the bright colors and the delicious smells, this place is a delight. Just don't fall in the lava. I accidentally bit into this power moon in a bowl of stew. They're just everywhere. There are so many moons in this game. Yeah, it's a lot of moons. Wonder what there is to see above the clouds is telling you other kingdoms to go to. Uh... Farmer Peach for Smash. I would love actual outfits and not just recolors in Smash. And uh, Bowser's Kingdom is actually different. Oh, okay. L let's finish the stream by seeing Japanese Peach. Momo. <laughs> Momo Hime. I wonder if they've made that joke in any Mario game in the Japanese versions. Probably at Momo least once. Hime. And then after you visit all of them, she uh, she goes back to uh, to Mushroom Kingdom. Just hangs out. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was I so. Like, I like. Like so. That was Mario. So vet, yeah, like, go on. Uh, I, I can't think of the word. Never mind. Go on. Uh, so I should mention that uh, Super Mario Odyssey is rated E10 for cartoon violence and comic mischief. Oh. D which makes this the the like the youngest uh, rated game, or the highest to, rated? Uh, the the no the lowest rated game to have that realistic of looking a dragon. Yeah, is that noted? I, I don't like usually if there's a dragon that detailed, the game's rated at least teen, but they're mostly M. She's by the cap shop. Yeah, the, the 
Callum said by the shop. All right, just cool. Where the shop was. I like how Bow how Bowser's kingdom has like a tourist shop. Welcome to my kingdom. Here, buy some merch. Oh, where is the shop? I want to see what the new coin outfits are. Daddy, why do we have a shop? We gotta reel people in. We gotta make the money. We gotta no, make the castles money don't somehow. buy themselves. All right, let's see what oh, we, we got. We never bought the original Power Moon. We can buy more of them. Skeleton. Skeleton. We oh, we can be Luigi. Yeah. <laughs> do it. I think there is a. If you. F I don't remember how it's done, but if you fight Bowser and again as Luigi, he's like especially humiliated. Oh, no. Come on, Luigi. not Mario, but Luigi beat me. <laughs> Luigi, why are you here? I'm here to get revenge for my brother. The L stands for winner. The really? L. The L stands for winner. Musician hat. I like that, and I like the knight outfit we're not going to be able to afford. Yeah, not yet anyway. Probably not ever. Conductor. I'll probably I'll keep playing on my own. I kind of wanted to get through this so that I would have, you know, something to play as well. All right, so... Yeah. That... L is real. See? I told CL is real. Hey, Luigi! What are you Where's doing Mario? here? Oh, she's got a little boo mask. It's like Festival Peach. Yeah. It's a uh, castle. It's... I think this is the first time I've come here on my own two feet. Whatever its history, this castle's simply splendid. And a power moon fell down from the sky. Couldn't even think of a good explanation for how she got it. I don't know. It, it, it fell from the sky. That's how common like... they are. <laughs> They're less valuable than stars. wonder what there is to see above the clouds. Well, why don't you just go find out if you're so interested? I don't- I'll never forget how you jilted me. And tried I to see. drive away, leaving me behind with Bowser. You fool. So the Bowsette continuity is how she, she successfully left, uh, left them alone on the moon, uh. and Bowser just put on the super crown. Why didn't he make Mario wear the super crown? That's a that's an alternate continuity. That's that, where that's a question Mario for just fan fiction to answer. Mar Mario puts on the super crown and becomes uh, Princess Maria. Yeah. There's also I saw a comic of uh, there's a power up in 3D World that duplicates yourself, so you have like multiple Marios running around. And oh yeah. Bowser combines that with the crown. And it's just I mean, Bowser it... next to Bowsette. Oh, you know what? I'd actually, I'd actually think that would be pretty cool. It's just it because it, it is his perfect match. Yeah, he lo yeah, no, just, no, he doesn't love anyone more than he loves himself. <laughs> and his son. Yeah, he loves his son. And, and you know what? If it's just uh, Bowser, but as a female, then they would both love uh, ba Bowser Junior. Yeah. Like, like, <laughs> Mama. Yes, it's me, your mama. <laughs> All right, that's Th great. That's the stream that was for fun. today. We did, we did a yeah, lot. We... we saw all the peaches, and, and you uh... know what? Despite me, despite me being on like back back drugs, I I didn't get uh, exhausted towards the end like I usually do. So I'll chalk that up as a win. Yeah, it was a longer one. Well, uh, I'm gonna continue playing this off stream. Get enough moons to access the hardest part of the game, and then we'll do a final Odyssey stream of that. And then once Odyssey's done, we'll start uh, Hat in Time, the and plan. then uh, we're going to continue Book of Mario. Uh, so, uh, we're sorry, Book of Doors, Thousands of Marios, yeah. the uh, Mario Book of Mario randomizer stream, and then Metopia at some point. And then I gotta, I gotta finish catching up to Kingdom Hearts too. Yeah, sorry, so I that, don't have uh, the Halo theme to play. Uh, thanks for watching. See yeah, you next and we'll time. Uh, see you next time.